What's up guys, this is Heiss, and yes, we are playing Dear All Valley tonight. There is, in fact, a new update. Um, and as long as that song was, I still wasn't ready. I forgot to turn on my lights. Ha! There we go. Now I can't see, but I look better. Look at that. How fun is that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so there's an update to Dear All Valley, and you know that we love to take a look at them... Um, as they're fresh. Uh, so we're going to be doing that here today. Um, seeing what other shenanigans we can get into along the way. Um, but yeah, uh, there's lots of cool update notes. But let me, uh, it looks like, it looks like the economy is already being broken. And I checked through stream elements and reloaded everything. And I don't know why it's still not working for the membership gifts. Stream elements. Why you why you being why you being bad? I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that some more. I'm sorry about that. Um <clears throat> anyway, uh speaking of, I will get the top chats, then we'll kinda talk about the update, and then jump into it. So, uh from Steam Tun one two two, a conductor for seven months, new dude who dis. Uh it's battery electric, apparently. I'm excited. Um <laughs> It's a strange dude by the sounds of it, but it actually might be pretty useful. So anyway, uh, Nicholas Resar, here's to the economy breakers, a freeloader, a breakman of two months. You'd love to see it. Thank you, my friend. Brent Hinshaw, did somebody say economy? Uh, no, but I mean, the economy should be scared, I guess. <laughs> and then a mad lad with, with a great Peter Griffin uh, emoji gifting 50 memberships thank you my friend i don't know why the birds are not working i'm very disappointed that the birds are not working we will we will sort that out so thank you so much though my friend uh lnh rail fan productions kit batch kit bashing and ho scale rgs 20 any tips cheers um that's gonna be hard ho and three they made some in brass they have a lot of weird details so good luck and then Eric Smith, uh, Breakman for 10 months, let the economy begin. Uh, let the economy breaking begin, bring on the birds, yes. Redline Overload Productions, your friends and I created the, recreated the CNS NG in, in RO scale. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that. Jordan Freeman, tonight on The Bachelor Pirates Edition, you have to choose between the, the wrenches, Scarlet or Giselle. Um, the wenches, not wrenches. Wrenches, torque things. Um, wenches is a very not wonderful term for a lady. <laughs> um, but Scarlet are just, I mean, they both slap Johnny Depp and that's all we really know. So I don't know if there's enough data to pick there on my end, at least. Hunter Gotchall. Hello, Heist. First live stream that I can make it to. I've been a fan of, of watching your videos for a while. You also work in transportation, but with 18 wheels. Hey, it all gets the freight moved. Thank you for helping out uh, and keeping the economy moving as much as folks try to destroy it here. So glad you enjoyed the stuff. Baxterville, hi, Heiss. Any Kenoshas tonight? Uh, well, it already smells like Kenosha. I will say that. This stream not sponsored by Jameson Irish Whiskey. Anyway, um, so I'm sure we will blow something out. I'm sure that will happen. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Can we catch up here? Almost there. Downtown Arrow Productions. Ten months, Hadley. You were banned from the Discord. Um, shoot me a message on Discord. Shoot me a DM. Feel free. Add me as a friend and we can talk about it. Um, I may not be able to get you back in. I don't manage the Discord and the moderation stuff. I've handed that off to uh, Sits and some other folks to take care of. And so usually they make the right decision, but I'm always happy to hear you out and try and take a look and, and we'll have to see. So... Anyway, noticeable desync from audio and video. All of the things are good over here. YouTube, why are you being bad? Stop doing the bad. Anyway, my face won't matter as soon as we play train games. Anyway, Physigist, happy update. I know you already mentioned about the duplexes on train race up, but if you had a chance to look at the overall changes in the mod itself for the other wheel arrangements, no. Um, and I want to play with that a little bit tonight as well. Uh, the music, it may not be loud on your end, but it's loud on my end. So I'm going to, I'm going to alter the deal here a little bit. <laughs> um, and then John Doe, debt collector out of office playing World of Warship. Thank God. 
Let's go blow some stuff up. I actually loaded my career save because in order to play with the new dude, we actually have to uh, play career at least. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Nathan Borchelt. Uh, oh my goodness. You guys, you guys are wonderful. Uh, over your freeloading, what is an economy? I don't know. 403 guy, check the Ox Tender mod for Deer Valley. Uh, someone sent me that, and I haven't installed it. I need to. I need to do. I think it's on Nexus now. It's probably updated. I need to do that. Um, that's definitely helpful. So, Saf Surge, nine months. Woo! Look at the DM3. It has a shift pl plague. Plague? I'm not sure what you mean there. Anyway. Uh, Timer Man 765. If you're assembling the big boy boiler yourself, how would I do it? Um, by myself? Christ, that's that. Like, that's a lot of work. Like, you need cranes for that shit. I mean, you don't need cranes for that shit, but you really want cranes for that shit. That'd be hard. Um, if all the sheets were like, you have to align the sheets, get rivets done. It's a whole thing. Um, assembling any boiler without cranes is a whole thing. Neat question that maybe we should do a, uh, a dive on at some point. LC Officer Unit 97. Hey, I new engine, though it's an itty-bitty shunter, and yet I know somehow you messed up something up to terrify the Valley government. I feel compelled to blow something up as hard as physically possible with this little new dude. <laughs> though perhaps not in my career save. We need to at least just unlock it in my career save. Swirly Fox. Apparently Ox Tender doesn't work at the moment. Updating things that happens. Railfan Loy, welcome to the fireman. Thank you, my friend. Jack Morgan, hi, hi. So have you seen the updated passenger jobs mod? Adds a bunch of new stations dotted around the map. That's what those are. I just updated it and got it working again. Um, and I noticed on the map that there were more dots. And I was like, that's exciting. I'm actually very excited by that. We're going to have to run a passenger train. A duplex passenger train. We'll do that later. Anyway, uh, Jordan Freeman, if you ever visit the Huckleberry Railroad, do a vlog where the whole premise is repatriating 464. Uh, no, that would not be in good taste if Huckleberry was gracious enough to have me come out and film there. Um, unless they were in on the joke and wanted it, in which case... Uh, I would I would be game. But yeah, uh, if they invited me out and wanted to do a video about Huckleberry in general, like, yeah, wouldn't do the thing. So anyway, uh, <laughs> Matthew Williamson, welcome to the Breakman and Daniel Cantore. Evening. Hi, how's the snow up near Denver? You're a bit buried down here. It was horrendous earlier. Crunchy Mike. Why? 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 Stupid. Shouldn't be crunchy. None of the stuff says it's crunchy. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, it is peaking a smidgen there. So let me dial that back just a little bit. Couple dB. I hate audio. <laughs> As an audio engineer, I hate audio. Anyway, yeah. Especially when I get loud. It should be better now. I just brought it back down just about three dB. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's look at the patch notes real quick, and then we will jump into the valley itself and see what happens. So obviously they added a battery electric micro shunter, itty bitty quirky little thing. Um, it's only electric, which is neat, um, and it can be requested via comms radio whenever. It's not super powerful, but it can pull a little bit. So look at how cute it is. It's like a speeder. It's it's basically a speeder. Uh, that can move stuff, so it's it's very fun. Um, and they also went through and redid diesel electric sim, which um, I'm not sure if we'll get to test tonight or not, but um, I like it when they talk about accurate governors, generators, currents, voltages, circuitry, transitions, and traction motor over speed. They're putting enough little technical jargon there that I know that I'm going to like what this is, so... Uh, that's cool. DE2 now actually can haul more, better cooling. Love to see it. DE6, new sounds, more accurate notch distribution. Uh, I'm excited by that. We'll have to see what they did there. And the slug can now be utilized from both ends and behaves differently, which is interesting. There's now a vehicle catalog with a bunch of, oh my God, with characteristics that we'll have to take a look at. That's exciting. Uh, work trains can now get damaged. F, single tier. Uh, and insurance doesn't cover them. John Doe. <laughs> um, 
That's fun. Let's see, you can see the health status, you can change player height, some performance improvements, and a big change log. So, uh, Alt Future has been busy. We haven't seen an update from them since maybe October with the farm update. Um, yeah, yeah, it's the whole thing. So that's uh, a lot of excitement here, but we're gonna jump over and get into the valley and see what shenanigans and mayhem we might get into. The whistles are working, but the birds are not working. Why? Why stream elements? Why you do this? Anyway, uh, I need to change my capture from Railroader to Deer Isle Valley. It's been a second here. <laughs> All right, so uh, my good friend Caboose, shout out Caboose, told me that the food factory is where you actually buy the uh, the key to get the thing. So we gotta figure out where the hell the shop is at the food factory. Uh, Cause I don't know if I've ever been to this one. So, uh, looks like you guys are, you guys are just not stopping. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> the top chats. Appreciate y'all. W Muscati, haven't mailed your box here yet. Haven't forgotten, just done busy. Sorry, hope you're well. Thoughts on CSX heritage units. Um, no sweat. Like whenever, whenever you can get to it, my friend, don't worry about it. Um, appreciate you. Uh, CSX heritage units. I don't have huge opinions on. I think that they're doing more exciting things than many in this space are doing. I saw a sticker unit in person today. I saw a BNSF hurt. Hang on, we need to full screen meme this. I saw a BNSF heritage unit today. Um, and it's just kind of stupid. So. No. Oh, sorry, you joined at the right time, Dusty. Hi. I just blew I out Dusty's it. speakers. I, so. I, I saw it too. Did you? Did you see it? Yeah, it's so it cool. Did. It's so not cool. It's stupid. Uh, yeah. So the CSX stuff is better than that. But anyway, from Sushi Fox, the weather up here in Wisconsin had some really heavy snow for two months, but now it's starting to melt. Also, do you know where to find the BE2? You've been trying to find it. That's what we're about to show off. Raise your tells, everybody. Oh, God, he's here. Corey Gibson, the mad lad himself. Um, Yes. Uh, key is in the food factory, and then above the machine factory, below the iron mine, is where the shack to get it is, is what Caboose told me, so we'll be finding that. B Pendragon, fellow audio engineer, no one hates the wiggly air quite like we do. Uh, yeah, for reals. Hunter, gotcha, I just got off your railroader world with two steam locomotives and one diesel electric and destroyed a few freight cars. A man after my own heart, thank you. Rudy Garbly, good to see you, my friend, and thank you for the book, by the way. Um, I only finally connected the fact that, that your Discord username is associated with you after that exchange, which is quite funny. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited to read through it. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. Oh, my goodness. It's still going. 403 guy, you need the dumb 282 tweaks mod for streamlining. Uh, yeah, sold. A timer man 765, you laughed my ass off by your reaction. I'm glad. Chris Killing loved that Model Railroad video. Glad you did. Speaking of that Model Railroad video, that was great. And then the LC Officer Unit 97 peaking. Yeah, I'm not surprised it was peaking for realsies when I was uh, cockatoo sounding right there. So it's it's got a little bit on my end too. Still, not I'm gonna lot, okay. But... I'm gonna drop it down. This is plus zero. Is it still audible? Is it is the level fine or is it quiet? I mean, on on Discord, it's fine. I don't know about. Okay, on YouTube, I, I can but... bring up the volume on YouTube. This is max now on YouTube there. It's quiet, but it's there. But now, so it's got a little boost now. That's probably better for the things. Sorry, like everything changed when Windows screwed with my crap. So um, we could do that. You know what I should do is I should probably put a limiter on at some point, but that's probably not for here and now. I will give it a little 2 dB boost and we will save it there call it a day there so thank you everyone for helping me out with that so uh should be fine yes hopefully it should be fine how's it going today uh the audio has been a cluster 346 was pregnant with a goose um <laughs> that was the whole thing that happened uh <laughs> and uh it, it's been a it's been a fun little bit here so <clears throat> anyway there was a giant there was a giant child there was a giant child in 346 she was pregnant with a with a almost seven foot tall man um and uh <laughs> <laughs> and then she was pregnant with a goose, uh, and it was this whole thing. So, anyway. Captain Pick Week, the 282's 060 sound isn't 5 out of 5 in the catalog. Interesting. Hmm. And then Epic Dragon Cat, they updated the traction motor fuse in the DE6. Did they put it on the right fucking breaker? 
Oh, we I need to experience the DE6 now. We're gonna have to go do that. We're gonna get we're gonna get the damn thing and then go. We gotta do that. You guys need to stop super chatting for like five minutes so we can play a game. <laughs> uh, Eric D, volume's great on YouTube now. Plenty of headroom. Awesome. Thank you. And Ashley Taylor, uh, a surprise late stream. Yeah, um, the, with the snow as much of a cluster as it was, I mean, honest to God, I got home and I set up the stream and th this is when we started. So yeah, apologies do we know on that. Brett, do we know if Brett made it home yet? Um, I We don't. He probably hasn't because Goose just did just a bit ago. And they were all convoying down Wad, so Brett might be another 10 minutes out, so. A timer man 765, is it true that the museum bought the neighboring land? If so, what will the museum do? Uh, the museum but did not buy directly neighboring land. Um, it's very nearby, it's with, like, it's kitty corner. Um, but uh, as far as what the actual plans are, um, they haven't really said anything publicly, and they don't tell me either, because I'm now the media which is hilarious. So uh, I have no idea actually what the plans are. I know what a lot of people want to see, but it's all speculation and, and hearsay. So there's not really anything to be gained by me talking about it, so. Um, I guess it must be old Bob's garage key. We're going to old Bob's. <laughs> we love an old, old Bob. Bob's. Bob. The, 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 the Bob. main thing on the land was to stop development for future, you know, other people basically right make sure that the museum could stay where it's at yeah yeah without complaining neighbors yeah our neighbors don't uh don't like us so <laughs> well they do and they don't but anyway uh 94 chevy z71 you can't stop the super chats <laughs> okay fair enough thank you appreciate you elliot stein how was my visit to the southern california railway museum it was excellent Holy crap, I did not know how cool of a place that is. And I wish I knew beforehand so that I could have come up with like a script and a plan on what to shoot there. Cause we ended up shooting two real quick small videos that do not do the place justice. Um, and I mean, it was so freaking cool. Um, and then the, the staff there were wonderful. Shout out Carson if you're out there. Um, Carson took us through and showed us a ton of stuff. The museum's incredible, the people are incredible. Uh, you'll see a couple videos from it, but nothing is like an overall, like, this is the place, which I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to do. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go back. So anyway, and then Ashley Taylor, Super Chats for the win. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm trying to find a little choo-choo that we can run to the new garage to go do things. And here, here's a honk himself. Honk. Apes together strong. Yes. So when when did you get home so that we can check in on Brett and make oh, sure that he didn't Brett, die? Brett just walked in. He said. I was oh, gonna okay, say good. Brett just got home. Um, I got home like maybe Thanks, twenty DJ. minutes ago. Oh, okay. So you were at home a smidge earlier. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, with the DE6, it's apparently got new sounds, um, and they've done some stuff with the breakers. So I guess we'll run that. So. Yeah, we're gonna go run a DE6 to go get the smallest choo-choo of all time. Uh, it's now uh, the- oh, okay! Alright, so they- they- I'm sorry that I'm so mean when I complain, Alt Future. Uh, <laughs> they've definitely watched- Oh my fucking god! They've definitely no. watched my YouTube and, and heard my complaints. <laughs> Hold on, so... You know the joke we were making about the convoy? Yeah. I open YouTube because I'm pulling up the stream. The first thing in my fucking recommended, besides your stream, Cinema wins everything great about Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Google's listening. It's fine. Google is listening. They always listen. All right, hang on. We need to we need to listen to these sounds nice and proper real quick here. Hang on, because it's new sounds of the DE6. Okay, interesting. It doesn't sound like it's turbocharged, but I don't think it is. I want to say it's a 567. Um, let me let me turn up my sound real quick. Does it go? It does not go. It, that's that's a turbo. That's a turbocharged DMD. This sounds like. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, this sounds like a um, a blown one. So, I turned the sound up all the way. So we're we're gonna listen to this real quick.
that that just sounds fucking excellent. Okay, my internet dropped out for a second, but I'm back. That sounds actually really fucking that good. That sounds that sounds excellent. That's 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 bang on. The idle speed is now correct. You run it up to full throttle. The full notch is right at 900, as it should be, or right around 900, depending on governor. It sounds, it sounds killer. They've updated the load gauge to properly show actually the amount of amps you can pull in either direction, because before you can only get like three, 300 amps in, in braking. With every little turn like anytime like i have a little doubt or a little sadness or like well maybe they're i don't know they, they got stuff so close all the time they just show up and just do it you want to be good at developing video games model what alt future does they are doing what is fun and it's still correct and not making it boring as shit take a page out of their book everybody else Anyways, that is outstanding. Huge props to you guys. The the sound, mwah, I mean that that screams old EMD to me. Um, and and at full volume, that was incredible. But obviously, you won't be able to hear me, and I'll be screaming over it, so we can't do that. Um, and and seeing the the change, the little stupid shit that I like casually complain about. Knife switch is now here. Traction motors are a breaker like that. Excellent. The load gauge, I'm so excited to now, I, I want to play with the diesel a little bit. We're going to have to play with it uh, maybe for my next career episode. Um, the fact that they did all that crap. Um, God, and it just bogged down when we put it in one and the handbrake was on. You guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mark, you should screen share. That's so here. good. Oh, yeah, I can. I can so do that. that way we don't have to deal with echo. Yeah, I'm yep. like 15 seconds behind with YouTube. Yeah, that's the way the stream works. <laughs> let me uh, let me get that going to you guys. Yeah, that is, um, just uh, I am tickled pink. The the amount of care in a game that is called Dero Valley, where it is a shit post, right? Like it is based on a joke premise, right? To some extent, right? Like, obviously, the, the merit of the game is, is a whole thing, but, like, the name itself is a bit of a, a, a joke and, and, and fun, and it's made in that vein. And they're trying so hard and harder than so many. Just warms it's, my heart. I love it. Dario is so weird. It it's, keeps changing from right to left and everything. Oh, the sounds? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dusty's not used to wearing a headset all the time. How fun is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been a minute since we've seen an update from the Dero Valley folks, but the fact that this is what they're putting out when they make an update. Yeah. Uh, there is. Yeah. There, I had I'd been getting a little jaded on Dero Valley just because I I'm so honest to God sick of the realistic mode. I need to play more of the not realistic mode, which as soon as we go get this the, this little dude will switch to sandbox and do all that. Um, and it looks it bugs down. And, oh, it's so good. Does the RP? Hang on, I need to know. Does the RPM do it too? If I if I go to load it and it's roots blown, it's not uh, it's not turboed, and I load it in one. And it bugs! Yes! Ah! Thank you. Thank you, Alt Future. Yeah. Right when I had been getting a little jaded on Dear Old Valley, they just come out here with a love letter to the nerds. As one of the nerds. Thank you. Oh my word. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of let this thing casually... Last time I ran through here at, uh, mock fuck, for lack of a better term. Excuse my French. Um... It went poorly, so we're just gonna we're just gonna let this thing kind of roll, uh, and I'm gonna go through the top chats that I've been missing. So, bonjour. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> the onion. Bonjour. The onion. Anyway, Epic Dragon Cat. They updated the traction motor fuse in the DE6, as we saw. Eric D. Volume's great on YouTube now. Plenty of headroom. We got that already. Oh uh, my goodness, my chat scrolled up. Yep, we already Good talked Lord. about all these things. 
DJ was the last one. Hi, 2K7, you're going to sync John Doe using my USS Vermont. Brick Smash! You'll be listening for the funny deer all crash noises while playing the boats. Apes indeed together strunk. The boat, boat sounds fun. Enjoy. Sushi Fox, have I played in VR mode? I think I forgot you should do that because I think it'd be fun. You only play in VR, so you'd love to see me play it. Uh, there was one episode and I tagged it and I'm in VR in the thumbnail. Um, so look for that and you, you'll you see that uh, when you when you find that episode. Uh, I did do that one time. Um, I, I, my, my office space, um, it was so funny when people came over for the narrow gauge convention, they were like, this is it. It is very small. This is about a seven foot by 10 foot room. It's itty bitty. Uh, so like two meters by maybe three meters for those of you uh, otherworldly. Um, it's a little tight with the guitars, the equipment, the all the stuff. Um, so it's not great for VR, uh, but I have played VR and I did it for the one episode. Um, I would be more conducive to playing it in VR uh, if I had a little bit more space, which hopefully uh, in a little while I will. So anyway, uh, but go ch go check out that, uh, that older video for sure, so. <laughs> <clears throat> let's see. Du, 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 du. Okay, let's see. Next one. Hunter Gotchall, you just got railroads online. What is my opinion on that game? Um, I don't share my opinion on that game anymore. Um, I have a lot of personal thoughts tied into it and a lot of personal challenges tied into it that influence me in a way to speak about it very negatively. Um, and I don't really need to share that negative to negativity with all you guys. So, um, it, it can be fun. There's a fair amount of fun to be had in that game, and I hope you enjoy it. But uh, it's not for me. So, anyways. Moving on. Jay Christensen, the title says, there's a new locomotive. Is it steam or diesel, or do they add a new type? New type. It's electric. Uh, it's a little electric shunter. So we're going to go and uh, get that. Roscoe Montana. Heist. Happy cockatoo noises. Yeah. Happy cockatoo noises for sure. So, so good. Chris Gill, thank you for gifting the 50 memberships. I wish the birds were working. I'm not sure where the birds are not working, uh, but we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out one of these days. I troubleshot I think, it. I thought it was working and it, it's not, but anyway. I think YouTube just broke a whole bunch of APIs recently. I would not be surprised. It's not, they, they've messed up stuff with Discord too, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's YouTube's end. Uh, hey, Patrick, I got I got a membership. Yay. Yay. Dusty. Hey. Dusty's freeloading. <laughs> Love to see it. Patrick McNeely, birds. Yes, birds. And then the, the A320 dives for the river after they say birds, right? Am I yeah. remembering the film right? Okay. Pull up. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. We can't whoop, quote, whoop. We can't quote whoop, the rest whoop. of the things we were saying, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> the, the neurodivergence. Uh, 100, 50, 20, 10. <laughs> Pull up. Yeah, it's fine. Cat Pit Squeak, it really feels like Alt Future made a silly VR game about derailing trains. It got adopted by train sim fanatics like us, and they went, all right, bet. Uh, they definitely did that when they hired Zybok. Uh, I will absolutely say that, because the game was really solid, and Zybok is one of the nerds. Uh, shout out, hearts, hearts to Zybok out there. Uh, Zybok did a ton of the mods beforehand that were just excellent. Um, and uh and yeah they, they literally said oh yeah no we'll hire them like cool oh good god don't put it in notch one that that quick oh that, that'll pop your traction motor breaker in a, a femtosecond is pow done tunk anyway get the lights on to the front can't wait to play sandbox mode so i don't have to deal with this crap because i know that nighttime is not ideal for youtube so anyway God, it's so cool! Every time it loads up, just bitching! Yeah! Love that. The economy, why do people hate me? Uh, we got many reasons, but good to see you. Jordan Freeman, where's the parrot hat? We need to see the parrot hat. Um, if I get inebriated enough, or if the economy gets broken enough, I will put the parrot hat on, bet. Yeah, anyway. I started something, didn't I? <laughs> we, you, you did. You definitely did. We had a conversation did. about that at lunch. We, we did. We did. Uh, I will say, um, everyone I've talked to approves and enjoys. Uh, many people do have the, oh yeah, you're gonna get called a furry, and it's, uh, pfft, uh, channel logo's a bird. Uh, I signed up for this by being who I am. And once again, uh, the, the general PSA, not my thing. If it's your thing, great. Celebrate, enjoy, do, do the thing that you enjoy. Um, but, uh, not, not for me. So, anyway. 
<laughs> Zoe McElroy. Woo, hi, stream. Also, thanks for the hat. It's amazing. Also, music question. Have I ever played a cigar box guitar? I have. Um, I had a... Um, there's actually a... There was a video of it on an old band of mine's YouTube channel that probably doesn't exist anymore. Hmm. Maybe it was on our Facebook. It may not have been on a YouTube channel. Uh, when I played in Beerfinger, our first bass player had, uh, he made a cigar box guitar and I played a little Led Zeppelin on it and it got posted to social media at some point, but we're taught, this is like almost 10 years ago now. Uh, do we think it's left, left or right? Uh, right goes into a garage, so I think that's, the oh, and left goes into, oh, both of these just stub. Okay, interesting. It said six, seven, and then it said two and, and stop. Old Bob's garage, here we are. All right, it's gonna be the thing. I'm gonna park this thing so we can kind of see what we're looking at here. Assuming the brakes wanna do a thing. Uh, let me grab these last top chats and then we'll uh, grab the thing and switch to um, um, sandbox mode. Octopath5313, 15 months holy. Unfortunately, you've got a double shift tomorrow after a double today. Catch the VOD night, folks. Have a good night, my friend. Double shifts are hard. And two in a row, extra hard. So get some sleep while you can. Zerg Smasher Gaming, what is a Steam locomotive favorite Pokemon? Pikachu! -choo! <laughs> uh, yes, Pikachu. -choo. Yes. Uh, that's a joke that uh, my sister would appreciate. So, thank you. Uh... Call sign Apollo! Uh oh. It's your cat. Oh, oh a goose. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we gained a Brent and lost a goose. I was going to say, goose just left, but now back. goose is back. Uh, goose, yeah. call sign Apollo. So I guess your cat's in chat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three high streams so close together. Truly good week to be subbed to the Birdman. Uh, spoilers, it's going to be five. I'm going to be dispatching on the AM and W tomorrow on stream. In but Rotor. what about the Super Bowl? Fuck the Fuck sports the Super ball. Bowl. Who cares about the sports ball? We like trains. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna my be. My internet dropped out oh. about the time you were reading the cigar box guitar. Oh wow! Super so your internet is struggling, but that's funny. But yeah, so uh, tomorrow we're streaming, and then Monday we're streaming Montezuma Monday. Presumably, unless I have to shift to Tuesday, but I hope I don't have to do that. We'll find out. Anyway. So, um, my audio is decent. I, uh, I think it's encoding. I think OBS is pooping itself with trying to handle the new camera. Um, so. Sure. Yeah, I don't know if it's an Xfinity problem or a it's router probably, problem. It's probably it's Xfinity. probably Xfinity. Probably. So, anyway. Appalachian Chaos, don't get the new BE2 going above 50 kph. You'll break it, but at least it won't add to your debt. Well, that's true. Railman 1255. Oh, if it doesn't add to the debt. <laughs> oh. You shouldn't have told him that. Now, oh. now we need to figure out how much money we can make with this pissant little dude. This. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Only one wagon at a time. <laughs> one piece at a time, a la Johnny Cash. Anyway, Railman twelve twenty five. Hey guys, I see you noticed they listened to the cockatoo noises. Also, not sure you saw they added a locomotive catalog. You should check it. I did see that very briefly, and I I would read it, but it's dark out, so we'll we'll read that when we get to sandbox mode. Um, thank you for the good call there. Uh, Ashley Taylor, time to break the economy, peeps. Thank you. Uh, Wusky gifting 20 memberships. Thank you. I don't know why the membership gifts are broken. I'll look into it. Jay Christensen, whenever Heist gets gifted 50 memberships, Heist burb scream, Heist burb scream, a Proven's Gloria intensifies. Uh, that's probably not how you pronounce that. It's got the weird German B, uh, and then bird scream, bird scream. Yes. It's, uh, Preusen? Preusen? Okay. I will trust it's you guys more than S. me. A oh, price. Okay, that's a double S. Yes, the S set. Ah, uh, well, today I learned. I'm used to having letters that have hats uh, in my experience. <laughs> so, you know, like Shibanik. Real man, twenty. The 12, S hat. The S hat. Yeah. Twelve twenty-five. Uh, oh yeah. Important note: you can overspeed traction motors now. So watch yourself. Yeah, I heard about that. That's exciting. The back EMF getting. Yep. And then uh, my call, turn streaming, <laughs> cockatiel, turn stream, cockatiel. Love to see it. Um, <laughs> Tristan, watch your speed. Yeah, very good. 
Virtual Rail fan music New question. Load but is, is available. The, is the cover of Eighth of January that Wings did still out there, and can it be used on videos? Actually, we have an updated version of Eighth of January that Wings and I both did that I need to download again because I don't have it in my proper folder. So anyway, we'll get there. Glenn Holland, Saturday Night Stream for the Win, theorizing about future layouts and models, and this is perfect content to listen to while doing it. That's one of the best things ever. So I'm glad you're getting to do that fun stuff. So anyway, John Deere boy engineer looks at new duplex on the ESD. What, what new sorcery is this? There's too many cylinders. Yeah, we're about to have that moment. Nazu, I don't fully know why, but before he hopped into stream, he saw two different videos of Ozzy Osbourne's granddaughter getting happy hearing him sing. That's awesome. That's super awesome. Jordan Freeman, but what about the Super Bowl commercials? I don't really care about either. And the commercials will be on YouTube later. So I don't have to watch the leather egg uh, hand fight in between the commercials. So um, I used to be a football person. I played football. Spoilers. Look at me. Oh, my God. Heist played football. Yeah. For one season. And how we about went the Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? We went defeated. I broke my arm and I said, uh, fuck that. That's awful. Uh, and yes, when I was younger, my dad's a huge Cowboys fan. And I loved getting to have that ritual with my dad of watching the game. So I was a huge fan of the Cowboys, too. But I, honest to Christ, have not really paid attention since Tony Romo is the quarterback. I have a Tony Romo jersey. I, I, I was a cowboy, big cowboy. So I don't really care anymore. Um, and they, I have, don't have a touchstone for like the last ten years with it. So, but I, I will still, I still love watching the game with my dad. That is, that's always fun. So, I, I try to whenever I visit back. But anyway, and John Deere boy in reference to the new duplexes. Yes, of course. Uh, Sergeant Kilgore at the Super Bowl heist. You're definitely my kind of people. Yeah, just not my thing anymore. Jack Morgan, if you want to feel old, there are probably kids who learned what cassettes are through Daryl Valley. Also hyped for the trolley video as oh, a trolley God. foamer. Yeah, we need to, do we need to talk about dinner and realizing that uh, oh. one of our volunteers was still pooping his pants when Barack Obama became president? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Cockatoo sounds. Yeah. Luke was born in 2006, Dust. 2006 uh. dies. Anyway. Did God. Uh, that's like me in the pictures of 91 30 years ago almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fake. Time's fake. And Railman, twelve twenty five, last one for now. I promise. Work trains no longer add to your debt. You can't fix them via insurance. However, it does tell you the conditions. Yeah, you have to, you have to take them to the shop. I saw that. So thank you. But anyway, so let's use old Bob's garage key here. Pow. Over by. Uh, say, speaking of dinner, uh, Brett lost his other headlight on the way home. Oh, did you really? Yep. Luke, Luke was just a sweetheart, and I had I put my hazards on because it was the only thing that I was gonna say. And he jumped out in front of me, and we just gorillas together, strong <laughs> all the way home. That's excellent. I mean, that was the story of the whole like trip home. I was being... a little scared when was that bowls and wads. It was right like... before bowls. When all four of us got on our brakes, and it's like, well, none of us are stopping. None That's of us cool. are slowing down. Sam went through the light and allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. No, no, no. Like he went through on the yellow. Okay. That's oh my dumb. god, it's got a trolley controller. Oh, oh my it? god. Me and Barbara Stanwyck used to, to ride the, the trolley. trolley. This used to be all large groves. groves. Uh, yeah, but Sam went uh, through yellow. You have to, do you have to take power properly like a trolley, or can you just send it to... No, okay. Yeah, all right. You, you just send it. And full send. I figured that I wasn't going to make it if I kept going, so I just, like, eased Bang. everything on, and... Does it not have its own... It does not have a locomotive brake. It was, it was weird how it hit, like, all solid ice about bowls on 472, and it was that way all the way past... Uh, yeah. Ken Carroll, and that's where the big accident I came across was, and it was just, yeah, it was, we it was not fun. We when you sent your text because we were all still at dinner, like Dusty. We had just, just got finished home. dinner. Yeah. yeah, we had we had eaten, and it was the whole thing, and it was like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah I, I came around the corner from Bowles on 470, and all of a sudden it was bumper to bumper traffic all the way down the hill and up the hill to, to Ken Carroll. That's very cute. Because right. three people Christ. had played bumper cars at the top. Okay, we're going to exit to main menu, and I'm going to swap to sandbox mode, and then we're going to play with that thing in sandbox mode now that we have it unlocked. Does it have, like, straight air in it? 
Uh, it's just got train break. It's like Pee Wee. It has no uh, self oh, yeah. it seems like. <laughs> it's, cool. it's, it's funny. Does it I will be back break? in queue. It has a handbrake. So yeah, I guess okay. you just use the handbrake for it. And it probably weighs so little that it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to start a new, another new sandbox save because look at how many Khan and I have together. It's uh, it's hilarious. But anyway, so yeah. We're gonna I'll be right back. I got to get more whiskey. Do it. I'm going to have to pour some more sh soon too. But anyway. Steam fan Scott, did I score four touchdowns in one game? Uh, no, I was offensive and defensive line, so I never touched a ball. Uh, I did sack our rival high school's quarterback once on defensive line, and I was like God King among men at that moment. Um, and I blocked, and my block set up one of our running backs for an excellent touchdown once, and, and that's the two cool things I did in my entire football career. So, you know. So uh, it's fine. <laughs> let's see. Let's uh, let's go somewhere splody. Let's go somewhere splody for this. Oh well. This will go well. No. Oh, always. It always does. Oh well, North. Why not? Uh, let's see. Nicholas Adkinson. Hi, host. Hope you're doing well. You're currently 3D printing me a caboose, and you're going to let it for the SND. I'd love to send it to you when you get it printing, if you'd like to have it. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm touched. Uh, yeah, if you want to send it my way. Um, that's a lot of work, though. Like, uh, I would hope that you want to keep it for you. But, like, if you feel compelled to send it my way, um, uh, shoot me a DM or an email. And, uh, yeah, I'll get you an address. Yeah. And Bandan. Trolley controls on the Switcher the day before the trolley video. What a shocker. Uh, limes. But, yes. Um, and I don't think it's going to work quite like the trolley setup is going to work. Um, and it probably wouldn't in actuality anyways. Um, but it's, Call? it's pretty neat. So, oh, look, Bandan's here. Hey friend. Uh, oh. and Jay, Jay Christensen, your mom knows German already knew the B looking character as a double S. Oh, well, I'm glad for you. Yeah. Um, my, my mom knows a ton of languages, but unfortunately, um, I didn't get taught any of it when I was younger, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's family dynamic stuff. So anyway, um, let's, uh, let's see if, is there a shunting job and can we, can we shunt some cars with this little dude? There's plenty, plenty of shunting jobs. That one's a lot of tons. That this one, the 126 ton one, is probably the ticket for us here. So, um, SL83. I want to pour more whiskey first, though. So, and then uh, and then we we will get into this. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> We entertain the people while Mark is gone. We're singing a song about. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Casey Jr.'s <laughs> going off the track. Bones are bound. Uh, uh, something like that. I, I don't know the whole thing. Although, uh, God, my fav one of my favorite moments of the many moments of the Leighton Bachelor Party trip was the the constant um, transit posting arguments and talking about people that get really way into, way, like, way too much into transit. Um, yep. so much so that they don't know what they don't know kind of vibes. Uh, and, and we had a little, a little bit of fun making fun of them at their you expense. Don't know what you don't know. Hey, you don't. Um, and, um, uh, uh, us getting in line to ride the Casey Jr. ride at Disneyland. Cause we're adult humans and that's what you do. Right. Please commit to the shit posts, everyone. Uh, have no dignity, have no shame, commit to the shit post, and you will have a better life. Just saying. Um, but yeah, Case, Casey Jr.'s got a pantograph. Da, da, da. <laughs> that was um, that was uh, that was a highlight for me. <laughs> that was a good one. So anyway, hey, let's look, see. it's it's uh, Jimmy, my friend from the Cog, with a pun, getting a charge out of life with a battery shunter. Damn it, Jimmy. Thank you. What an electrifying experience. No. Oh, silent, no. Man. Don't you start this shit. Guy. Don't you start this shit, Mantan. I let you guys go hog wild once. And that was a mistake. It was, guys need to it was hilarious, shocking. but it was a mistake. No, Corey. No, we do not need to resist. You're, you're making Ohm's Law puns, and I'm not here for it. What Actually. about it? No, Brett. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is why I drink. This is why we drink. 
I bought this pint glass BNSF company store when I worked for the railroad. I made a joke that they should have. Oh God, Jimmy's in chat now sold, too. Son of. Oh God, we're gonna be fucked. Uh, should uh, should have sold uh, shot glasses because it's the railroad, and the shopkeep at the company store in Fort Worth said the BNSF railway does not support the use of alcohol or drugs. <laughs> to which I say, but their pint glass tumbler certainly supports my alcohol. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> All right. B pen dragon with the limes. Thank you. Ashley Taylor. Time to charge ahead with this one. Limes and Jay Christensen. What do you call a fake noodle and impasta? I knew one of those. Yeah. Anyway, you want crispy noodle. I want a crispy noodle. This thing, this dude, this dude is so cute. Um, it's got the one little door. I mean, it literally is just somebody, somebody, why is it wider than it is long? <laughs> the micro shunner. I would love to know what the prototype of this thing is. Um, because, I mean, it honest to God looks like a slightly wider ferment speeder kind of vibe. Um, and the, God, the control stand, I didn't realize this, is looking out the side. So Whatever it is, the wife wants it. <laughs> Casey thinks it's cute. Well, good. Good. Well. 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 All right. Turn the cab light on, and the reverser shows you direc direction. And it's just got... What? Oh, no. The worst little beep. So. Oh. It's a, it's a call for KOF. Oh, my, call of, oh my God. The, uh, the puns. Yes. 94, 70, 71. We don't talk about R O O O O O O. Seven miles flies and random trees on its back. Uh, yeah, yeah, something Some, like that. Something like that. Well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, do we have a battery meter? Is is Lily trying to say hi? I heard her. Is that? There's a battery. We do have a battery meter. We have sand. We have headlights. We have uh, we have our our wheel here. Handbrake reverser. The fact, so the only thing that I really see this being super crazy useful for is when you spawn it and you need something like get you across the finish line kind of vibe. Okay. Their traction motor sounds are cool. Ed is everywhere. This electric glow who certainly has a lot of pun potential. Yes, it does. A lot of potential. Yeah, I, I see you. The interesting thing. Um, all the future, if you really want me to like test your shit, so I don't have to give you public feedback for you to uh, listen to and then implement later, uh, I'd be happy to. Um, one thing that I've noticed with anything with traction motors is that they, the whine, it, the, the the sound of the actual converters and the supply that we're hearing as we rev up the throttle, that's specific to the throttle. But they do have a distinct whine that increases with speed based on the back EMF, regardless of throttle. Um, I've noticed that on every locomotive I've run with traction motors, um, yeah. which is kind Four's of fun. Four is real bad about that. Four is really whiny, but it's also running <laughs> running two axles on one traction yeah. motor. So, is there a ding ding? I don't think there's a ding ding. I think we just got the 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 bicycle the little... horn here. <laughs> you press this button and it bonks a midget with a a vuvuzela uh, underneath the control stand. Sounds like goes, a cushman. Ah! Got the Cushman riding along the rails. It's beautiful. It does. Oh god, it is kind of like the Cushman, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a golf cart. I mean, is well, what? As fast as this thing goes. Uh, no, I, we've got no throttle on right now because we were about I, to make a hook. And no, I don't oh, mean I Cushman golf cart. I mean the Cushman scooters. Oh, they make scooters too. Okay. That's what they made originally. Oh well, I only ever dealt with their vehicles at BNSF as non-revenue vehicles. So anyway. Yeah, that's what they're famous for, is scooters. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they're that. They're cool little things. They got little front fairings. and. Yeah. Nazu, you up. vote to make this little dude the official transport vehicle of all ESD mechanics. Say aye. That's cool. <laughs> Wuski, this aye. thing looks like it would tumble aye. over if you slam the brakes on. Um, it really might. All right, what are we doing with these? We are taking um, C1S to the B6L to the B3O. All right, so we got to go. Uh, yeah, and then have bingo. All right, so let's um, uh, we'll go this way, and we'll run around the loop. We take a little power, 
Take a little more power. It's got a fair bit of battery. It's got a red and a blue needle, though. I don't. Wonder, I wonder what that's about. Do you I think take it a... has regenerative breaking? Oh, interesting. I don't know if it does, but that would be interesting. This sounds weird. I don't think it does because it doesn't have a dynamic break. It sounds. I, I... It sounds like like European Transit, like the the specific. <laughs> that it's doing is is um i believe a 50 hertz electric cycle thing that like a lot of german electric trains make so they they actually got some really good things one's charged one's voltage oh okay oh interesting uh this thing is not the- fast that's for sure i've got it wide open and we are about to do 20. And someone said, don't take it over 50, but the gauge only goes to 30. Give it at all she's got, Captain. I'm giving it all she's got! Open the windows! Okay. It will go faster! We <laughs> need, the, need the less in the air resistance. air resistance. There we go. Can we change the horn on this, uh, the name of the horn, to the doot flute? The doot flute? <laughs> the doot flute? <laughs> the doot flute. <laughs> That's very good. We like that. Okay, uh, it was B, it's whatever the L is, the loading track. Um, oh, we, oh, I guess we're going to the diesel maintenance if we run through there, so I guess we'll just keep going to the right here. And we have to back in. Okay, so we probably should have run the other way, but whatever. We run around the, the uh, reverse loop here. Most German locos operate on 16 and two thirds hertz. What? Inter- interesting. That's, um, I wonder why that is. No, knowing the Germans, there's a very good engineering reason for this, yeah. So, this is a, this is a neat little dude. And I really do think it's going to fill a, a cool niche when you get hosed and you need something right at the end. Because I've been there, done that, and gone, oh my god, I have to go teleport somewhere and get a locomotive. Um, so this isn't like a big, sexy, amazing, like, oh my god, they added a new S282 kind of thing. Uh, but it's a cool thing. Anyone going to tell him his air isn't hooked up? My air's hooked up. What are you on about? I hooked up my air. It's a third of 50 hertz. Oh, so it's some kind of three phase thing. I could see that. Okay. Oh, and Satyric's here. Hey, man, we're, we're going to check out your uh, your duplex, uh, the new version with the duplexes shortly. Satyric is the creator of the rearranged S282 mod, which is just about the coolest shit that's been put in the game yet. You, he might also, did he also do the gauge mod? I want to say you did the gauge mod too. I want to say you, I want to say you did that. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's, uh, either way. Yeah, super cool. And brakes set up and it sits on you crazy, so. Gauge mod with somebody else. Okay, I thought you did, but, uh, those, those are like the two coolest things I've ever seen done it in the game. Uh, but I the 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 rearranged dust to it too I, is the coolest for me so uh, love that so cheers to sat- satiric there on that one so the air recharge and we'll pick some take some power here so another thought since this is an engine you buy yourself is there an operating cost to use it uh you have to service it still and you can damage it is what the update says. Um, same okay. with the slug. You can damage the slug, and you have to pay for it to fix it, and insurance does not cover it. So it doesn't add to your debt. does not give you a debt to pay. Um, but at the same time, it um, you have to pay for it to fix it. Like you, If you clear your insurance, it's not going to fix your choo-choos. So you truly do own these, which is, uh, which is neat. So You break it, you yep. buy it. Busted side rods, Mr. Whistle and his little nephew, the Doot Flute. <laughs> That's that was excellent. Yeah. Little. So are you able to like call this? To you can spawn or? it in career mode. You can spawn it with the comms radio, like it is um, a caboose or a slug. That is the advantage oh. of it. So you can always have something to do a little shunting is the idea. So that's actually really cool. And and it's an, a great way for them to pilot 
their electric train system because they've they haven't done anything straight electric which is not super dissimilar from D diesel electric but it is dissimilar enough that it's got its own nuance that they would have to program um in some of the back end which they've been very busy simulating as we saw with the de6 still so thrilled with that so we'll load this boy up train's fully loaded I was trying to load and it was complaining about it. That was funny. All right. And then we need to stash these on the B3. All right. What the heck was that? That was wheel slip. I turn sand on. It's just got one kind of sand. And I give it wide open. The traction motor temp's hard to get up, even with this. That was wide open. And we really Great. haven't even used that much battery, so. Phrasing. That's a solid, a solid little dude. Does the battery recharge if you respawn it? Uh, that I don't know. I'm not sure how you, you recharge this thing yet. You find a Tesla charging station, of course. <laughs> ah, yes. Dust, Dusty has no no opinions on those things. None. Zero. None. 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 All right, so we go to the B3. And now I guess the question is, can we get this train going fast enough with this little dude to blow it up? <laughs> it's solar powered. Oh, and manual service. Interesting. The ma okay. maintenance shed has a high voltage charger for it. It's, it must have a plug on it some way. Plug. The plug. You plug, you plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Must sweep to the bottom and pull out the plug. Epic Dragon Cat, the hand car is now available by default and free to summon. Your F key should enjoy that. Oh my word. I've I've only <laughs> used the hand car one time in this game. Um, Camp and if, if it, and lady sing, sing that this song, song. do da do da Camp Town Race Track five miles, miles long. long. Oh, oh do da <laughs> Go on right all day. Gonna run all day. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Uh, I mean, a song. A real song. You used, used to sing the like birds. Cost $400. <laughs> there is missed opportunity there. It's fine. Oh, did I manage to throw a switch? I did. That's fine. I was trying to click back onto the game after I turned the music back on after I realized it was off. I don't know if it's going to be going fast enough to cause an explosion. So, anyway. Mr. Shooter 4, do the doot scoot boogie. The Doot Scoot Boogie! boogie. <laughs> Michael and Bessie, it's also compatible with a remote. Oh, that's killer. And John Deere Boy, you just lined a turn to be able to different track at a roundhouse while the micro shunner was rolling across it. Oh. Yeah, it, that did not cause a giant fiery explosion, which Where's brings sadness. Where's the earth shattering kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try that again. We might need to get a run at it. This thing does not have a lot of instead of three wave us. So I'm getting attacked by a cat. Oh, the other backwards. That's just woo woo woo. Sounds like. Whoop 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 Walking speed Ramming speed No no it's more walking speed than It's definitely speed. it's actually literally slower than Dero Valley walking speed right now, so yeah. Beat the drum faster. Pretty much. Mega Mikey 75, you swear to God, the BE2 wheel slip sounds almost like Bob's auto tune sneeze from a Markiplier video. Uh, you know, I'm not familiar with that. Um, it sounds like something that would be funny to watch, but uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it we're gonna give it some runway because we've got you know a little a little bit of tonnage here, so. I'd like to see you push those tankers on foot. They got roller bearings. I don't think I could push three, but I could definitely push one. <laughs> My myself. 
Dusty and I have moved to plane bearing caboose by ourselves. Yeah. Granted, it was only a 10,000 pound caboose, but uh, plane Good bearings one. do not like to start rolling because they because uh, that's how that works. Spawn more in. Oh, well, we, we need we need to try and blow it up authentically with just one. Then we can spawn more. So. God, its handbrake is lawnmower. Its handbrake is worthless. Lawnmower. All right, that's all set. Get the sand on. What are you doing, Cap? <laughs> Go. Oh. Woo! Tusheries, less squeaking, more kaboom! Uh, spam cat, should I get Dural Valley or Railroader? Will there be a sale? I have no idea. Uh, Dural Valley's been out for a lot longer, so it's probably more likely to be put on sale. Um, it depends on what you want. What? Railroader you... is fun with friends, and it's kind of a logistic sim thing, and it still oh. is very much early in the early access. Dural Valley is very polished and very fun and very good at the sim stuff, but it's just by you. So if you want to play with friends, Railroader, um, or if the logistic thing is your thing, Railroader, if you want to play with trains and, and learn the trains, um, D-Rail Valley, hands down, for sure, so. Can we call this Shunter, Shunter Dootsie? I'm, I'm fine with that, that's good. Matt Houston, shit hero is thinking the flying buffer beam is the smallest engine you've seen, but this isn't short and high, it's short in length. Yes. Yeah, I think Railroader and Dural Valley both scratch different itches. So, like... It's hey, definitely it, not a one-to-one -one comparison. No, it's very apples and oranges, despite it both being trains. This, the other angle is to look at is... Um, Dural Valley is Slavic trains, basically, and, and Railroader is American trains. So, yeah, this uh, this little this little buddy, little, little dootsy, is pretty hard to get in trouble with, which is probably a good thing, but it it you does do it make me sad. Thing. Maybe. Woo. woo woo! But 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 Brett, we're in sandbox mode where I can also just create more of them. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get all the locomotives here. So. Yeah. <laughs> there was a multiplayer Dero Valley mod, but it's not working anymore, so. All right. Get a little clearance distance here and we'll stop, so. They can't be MU'd. Uh, no, they can't. But that doesn't stop me from turning the sand on, putting the trolley handle to full, and then letting it go. <laughs> you underestimate my power. It's the best train sim I know. It's a good question. Um, I thought about this, and th I've thought about doing like a tier list video many times. Um, and then every time my that head just like a way to make friends. Uh, yeah, there many times my uh, my brain just goes, oh, you you would. No matter how I approach some of it, uh, some of it would just be n not not great, not ideal, not not like nice content. Um, so yeah, be a lot of cockatoo noises. A lot of cockatoo <laughs> noises for sure. Uh, for for best sim, like if you want the sim experience of what a train does, I really do think Dira Valley is the best. Um, some some of the more in depth on both sides of the ball sims are the smoke box stuff for Train Sim Classic. Train Sim Classic itself is kind of eh, but the um, the add-ons that smoke box has made are exquisite and very detailed in their nature. Um, so I'd absolutely recommend those. Um, oh, that's right, I have enough two menu because I'm not playing career mode. Excellent. Yeah, we like this. Uh, I am back. Excellent. 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 Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. Yeah. I, I did remember. I would like to announce to stream that a prophecy was fulfilled today. Oh, goose ran a goose. A goose ran <laughs> a goose. That's true. 
Uh, how was how was running the goose goose? I actually didn't get much of a debriefing from you other than you thought it was really fun. Uh, only stalled it once when Al told me to downshift to second, or I downshifted to second on my own because going downhill is trying to slow down. Right. And Al told me to shift back up to third, and that was when it happened. Ah. Uh, but other than that, I manual transmission. How they be? Other than that. Straight air took a couple laps to get used to, but... Different than automatic, for sure, yeah. Yeah. It's very touchy on the goose, too. The goose just doesn't it is. have a lot there's, of there's no to way. It, so it's yeah. really easy to get too much. Well, for me, it was move the handle, move the handle, move the handle, nothing happened. Then all of a sudden, it kicks in, and you immediately get, like, 15 pounds, so you gotta kick it off a bit before it bites down too much. We're just thinking about running a goose for the first time as you're not sure what to do with your hands. You're, you're very Ricky yes. Bobby in that way. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's just, it's just driving a car. It really is. Except there's no steering wheel and you're just, what? Yeah. It's driving a car pulling a box car. Uh, uh, yes. Correct. Yeah, but yes. it's just weird. Do the gooses do? Do they have couplers? Can you like couple a car up to them? They have drawbar hooks, so you can you could affix a drawbar. You, you couldn't really couple cars, but you can move light things with them, and they've done all sorts of shenanigans with them before, which we've discussed a little I've bit seen, today. I want to say I see, I've seen a picture of six pulling like a high side gone. I wouldn't be surprised would if that happened. It. Yeah. They, Who they, was talking about the um? The, go the, ahead, Dusty. Sorry. The the corrugated oh, pipe. That, yeah. Yeah, that was Brett. Yeah, the and pipe. I've seen that picture too. Yeah, that was on. I want to say it was on Facebook recently. Yeah. I'll find it, I'll shoot it but it me. that was a lot longer than a drawbar would have been. Like they, they had the drawbar for. Oh yeah. For hooking up to other geese, and the the best ones like. Uh, there was a video on Facebook a couple several months ago that was. Two steam locomotives with a short freight and the geese following right behind. And I, I, I bet you the geese were draw barred to each other just because it was they were so close to each other. But yeah, they they would pull geese along with the draw bars when one of them would break down all the time. That never happened. The geese never broke down. Never. Dusty. No. Never. 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 I think Not more all. geese are in ready to operate condition today than there ever were at any well, one time. Yeah, because on the there's, uh, you, well, there's, you, there's you you say that, but I'm well, there was only no, six because, at once. Yeah. Yes, and now there's seven because the 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 number one recreation. Yeah. Right. So one was scrapped to make six. So That's true. Yeah, so, technically yeah. there's more running now than there was. Not to mention the RGS mantra seemed very much to be we need another, you know, we we have this goose, but we want to make improvements. Should we improve it? No, let's just build another no, one. No, build another one. Yeah. Yeah, two ended up sitting for quite a, quite yeah, it a was lot parked, of the time. It was parked yeah. early on, and surprisingly, it just sat there and never got scrapped. Yeah, it's... so really during the RGS days, yeah, you, you really only had a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Six was almost always in traffic. <laughs> That's because they always had something to scrap. They, they loved <laughs> six. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we, we tried to we tried to bust the buffer, in honor of all the Thomas the Tank Engine people. Um, bust and, my buffer. Bust my buffer. And it's bust and it did not do the thing. Buff. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get this thing up to track speed as fast as we can <laughs> by itself and run it into the thing. And if this doesn't work, we're going to smash a DE six <laughs> through the pile of them. Faster. Um, it faster. does not go fast. Yeah. It really does. Real quick, answering a question I saw in chat: Do the geese still have their automotive foot brakes? No. 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 They have the clutch, the gas, but then they have an and air brake. That's the like the steering explode. wheel was replaced with a regular straight air brake handle. <laughs> we broke the glass out of the shunter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still pushing. It. You know, the the shunter might not be ES and D approved because it's not causing carnage. It's not capable of carnage. It's not There's capable no of carnage, which, which actually, depending on your viewpoint of the es &D, it might actually be the best thing that they could ever own. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It's anyway. the locomotive equivalent of a coffee table with pool noodles on the Hey, uh, do you want me to spawn in a tank short milk? 
the, sh the short tank. What? The short the short tank for milk. Tank short, short milk. milk? Tank oh, short milk. Wow. Yeah. Oh, short boy. tank. They they added it last time. The short tank. You know it's fine. Short tank. Oh, they added um, they added some sort of capacity set. We got to look at the um, the locomotive catalog that they added. Got to take a look at that next. I might have to. Um, in the great immortal words of uh, wings and strings, I might have to horse like a piss race first, but. <laughs> hey, could you try taking one of those little shunters up above 50 miles an hour and see how it blows itself up? We're gonna we're gonna have to take it downhill. We'll we'll go to the harbor. We could run one downhill. With a tailwind. With a tailwind <laughs> down downhill, we'll have to we'll have to set a record like Mallard did. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Um, and friends uh, with the British friend. Oh yeah, we are friends with the British. I'm just, I'm just tossing shade. Yes, but yes. Anyway, they're sure friends, not poo. I'm sure, the brake pipe's not happy, but I've got power to push through it. So, <laughs> but I have traction. Motors. I have traction motors, and lots of throttle notches. It's still ten notches, but it it goes up to. Uh, let's see. The the HUD's gonna tell me it's about nine hundred. So we're gonna clobber, we're gonna clobber those darn little little BE2s. They're not DE2s, no, they're BE2s. The tank short milk. The tank short milk is gonna die. Not the tank short milk. This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> they cr they crushed, they crushed they're it like with the bumpers. <laughs> Oh, no, the, now you've made a frag grenade the with poor, battery loaded. The poor little babies. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not loading anymore because my traction motors are probably offline. Yeah, it's fine. If I touch that breaker, <laughs> and then we immediately load to, like, 2,500 amps. Come on. Think of Titanic. Keep them in! Keep them in! Keep those breakers in! Oh. <laughs> More stuff fine. going boom. Oh, yep. the whole yard's going to go up now. It took a DE6 to make the uh, make the carnage happen here. Do the actual tanks on the side go to go boom too, like the the fuel tanks? Uh, I don't think they do actually, unfortunately. Oh. But um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna let the yard blow up. Uh, entertain the folks. I'm gonna go horse like the piss race, and I'll be right back. We entertain the people as the world burns around us. Some people Sounds just like want to watch the world burn. Right? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah. How about them Mets? Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm kind of tired after today. Yeah. We, for the folks in chat, we worked extensively on 346 today, which is refreshing because we're actually making progress on an engine that has sat for almost three years now, somehow. Um, but it's tiring and dirty and... Yeah. yeah, steam engines. Yep. But a good portion of the UTing is underway, and we've got the wrapper done. We've got the engineer side of the dome and the barrel done. We need to do the back head. The internal firebox is going to be kind of a pain. We need to. Did the internal firebox ever get washed out? Uh, I think so. I couldn't really tell with how dark it was, but it didn't really feel like it. We, I, if it hasn't been done, we might stick somebody in there with a pressure washer and clean that out before we I UT. thought I had, because Jeff had UT'd a few places in it already. Maybe. It might just be so full of slag and dust at this point. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, grinding. we've been grinding in there for it's, and it's cutting tubes. And... I oh, think are you, he did uh, all that. You guys talking about 346? <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, do you remember if the if the internal firebox got uh, washed out at any point? Uh, I don't. We wa I washed all the exterior. I was part of all that, but we didn't go in the box with the the pressure washer. Probably worth doing. Um, yeah, but even even if it was washed, well, I mean, the amount of grinding we've done, the amount of yeah. crap that's been kicked it's out, so full of torch slag. I know Jeff so. did a bunch of of UT measurements on the crown sheet and stuff our and our new so ut probably washed before that our new ut tester works so well compared to the last one that i'm sure it'll work great even with a little bit of garbage there um but like just giving it a quick rinse before we do an internal is going to be a huge thing but i think we should finish 
grinding the two bins out first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, for, 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 the, uh, for the streams, so that they understand, um, we've been working on 346's 1472 a little bit more. I'll probably do a video about that and that process shortly. Um, but uh, today, uh, we're going to use Goose as our hand model here. He's he's out of chat again. I think his internet must his have internet crashed. His internet must gone. Oh, single tier for him. Absolutely. Well, here's here's Goose. Uh, he's a qualified ultrasound technician uh, from his time as a vet tech, and he looks high as hell in this picture, which is just kind of <laughs> hilarious. But it was early in the morning. He was not high. Um, <laughs> we're ultrasonic thickness testing the boiler, seeing how thick it is in many different places. And so you take the meter. Um, and the special coupling fluid and figure out how thick it is uh, and determine if it's safe or if it needs to be adjusted or if the pressure needs to be adjusted, etc. It kind of identifies areas you may want to address in the 1472. Um, and so far, so good. Knock on wood, we actually haven't found anything by the numbers that has us concerned. We have some stuff that we've seen visually that we're going to have taken care of because we're in a 15 year rebuild cycle like you do this and then you run it for 15 years so take care of what you're going to take care of uh but one of the steps that we have to do is we have to take care of the internal bit and so um one of the things that's been going on is many different folks today um thank you to all of you brett uh sam luke tyler goose um I think they, they were the ones that went in today, but grinding the two bends down on the firebox end is like the most thankless, awful, crappy job. And look at it. Look at how much carbon is on there. No, it's not been washed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can see from the picture. Uh, I couldn't tell with how dark it was, but it sure didn't feel washed as it was wallowing around. It. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can easily see all the carbon buildup and everything, but the tubes on uh, in the boiler, they're all removed. And they're all removed, the, the ends are all removed from the other end of the boiler, but this end is the firebox end. Um, and they're seal welded per modern practice these days. And so you have to grind them down flush to the sheet so that you can see the end of the seal welds to actually get them done. And so we're almost there uh, to which point you then heat them and knock them out with a hammer or a chisel or something. And uh, it's a whole thing. Um, and so uh, we're still going to be tossing sparks and slag and madness everywhere across that box. So I would say we finish that, wash the ever living piss out of it, and then we do the UT on the inside. But uh, we still probably have another day or two of UT on the exterior, anyways. So. Yep. Yeah. The belly's going to be kind of a pain. Fucking Christ. Hey, Goose is back. back. Hey, you're back. Uh, right as right as I was saying that you looked high and uh, we're using you as uh, uh, video fodder. Uh, 346, uh, we keep joking. We're doing an ultrasound. Oh, so was we, it grandma kept, giving birth to me? Uh, th yeah. th th that's right now, yes. Uh, and she was pregnant. She was pregnant with Goose. <laughs> she gave birth to Goose today. <laughs> uh, a cute little baby boy. Look at him. <laughs> anyway. That was because I got shit in my eyes climbing out of the firebox. Uh, it's it's what happens. But anyways, I gotta grab some chop chats and then we need to play. Um, we need to play with the uh, the passenger cars mod. Let me let me start loading to uh, another location. Um, yeah, when you start my internet. <laughs> Robot goose, your internet's your internet's your internet's struggle bussin. We're not out of city southwest. Why not? All right. Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Pretty much. I think he's gone again. All right. Blend Pine Nexus party. Yes. Tasha you're, Reese, anyone else see? You're still see? there, but garbled. Anyone else see the smart carved choo choos? That's basically what it is. Eric Bonanno, that thing is like a modern Betsy. And it's a modern Porter Class B. Please. Anyone? It's fine. Matt Houston, dear God, everyone run. He's causing confusion and delay. I'm trying to. Nazu, so again, ESD engineer loco. Yeah, 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 for sure. Charlie Gamble, thanks for the dollar. Appreciate you, my friend. Big Bad John, give it the beans! beans. Yes, the beans. Charlie Campbell, that was an accordion of locomotives. It really was. It makes me want to stack up a bunch of them and sandwich them. We'll have to do that at the end of the stream, maybe. King Zeldar, Brakeman for one month, and you smell Kenosha. It does happen. Zero Winter, Hulan Hammond near the tankers. Hammond! Hammond! Yep. In stereo. Stellar Elk 5135, you got your 100% gifted membership restarted. 
I'm glad. Uh, the, the channel members here and the gifts are excellent. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, let's see. Still scrolling. Here we go. John Deerboy, the man. When you play with the duplexes, just a heads up, the 4444 has the second worst adhesion of any loco in the mod. Second only to the 444. Use the 2442 because it is vaguely decent factor of adhesion. Um, I am... Uh, I appreciate the tip. Yeah. Uh, I will use that. For sure. Charlie Campbell, Goose was always a robot. <laughs> Allegedly. It's fine. Legendary. Uh, Rainbow Chicken Live, you're still working on getting you some tail feathers. Thank you, my friend. I saw you subbed to me with the blue and gold macaw logo, uh, and I was very excited. And I saw your comment earlier, you were talking about all these talks about cockatoos, no love for the macaws. I'm a macaw man. Heist is short for hyacinth. You should know this. Uh, I have, um, at my house, uh, my, my mom. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sure you are, or you'll watch this later. I'll find out. She watches almost everything. She may not catch every piece of every live stream because sometimes they're long, but she watches almost everything I do. Um, sh at my uh, my room at my mom's place, my former room, um, if I recall right, I have a, a couple hyacinth tail feathers that she got me, uh, and I have a couple other macaw feathers. Um, yeah, I should get, I should get those. They're they're a fun touchstone and from fun memories with my mom. So. Um, one of these days. Uh, but yes, if, if you want to send me some, so, so thankful, so happy. Uh, I, I love how happy-go-lucky and silly and cheeky birds are. That's uh, that's my touchstone and love there. So anyway, uh, I think Tiro Valley's broken. It is still loading. So I might have to Alt F4 and start over, but we'll figure it out. Westside 9, guys, I swear the NB and W2 will be restored. Guys, list... I don't even know what you're talking about. Conyers. Conyers are, um, I had a bad experience with the Conyer. We had one Conyer, uh, in my house growing up, and he was a goblin of a parrot, and, um, that was not ideal. <laughs> yes, Dero Valley did break and crash, uh, so I'm gonna have to relaunch real quick, so we're just gonna do that, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I'm not the only one having issues. Yeah. Uh, the Conyer we had, um, I don't know exactly the story how we came across him. Uh, my mom was watching him for someone and then someone got rid of him or something and then he ended up being our thing. But he was this evil little bastard named Petey. And he would sit there. Petey and he didn't even have a head. <laughs> he was a green cheek Conyer and he would sit there in his cage and he'd be rocking back and forth and just, just cackling to himself. <laughs> And you couldn't really hear what he was saying. But the more you listen, the more you realize he's speaking English. And it's like, okay. And he'd sit there and be cackling. Petey! And he would be screaming his name in the middle. And it's like, someone traumatized this poor bird. Um, and there was, he would like, he would break out of his cage. And you'd watch his beak do the dance underneath the door jam. Like he's just trying to bite his way out. Um, and one time... Um, I opened the door to my room, walked in, because he, he lived in my room along with Seven, my parrot, my cockatiel that I had. Um, and uh, he flew up and just absolutely bit the crap out of my nose, made me bleed all over the place. Because um, he was just a hateful, spiteful ball of trauma, that poor bird. Um, I know not what happened to him in his previous life, but uh, it was not great. So, um I feel bad for him, but uh, that was my experience with the Conyers. So I, I don't, I don't have as much love for the Conyers. Um, but uh, that's the way it be. But I, I do genuinely enjoy all birds, and it seems like Conyers are actually, by and large, wonderful, amazing parrots. Um, uh, but uh, just not one that uh, I, I had a good touch done with. So. Anyway, looks like we get a couple top chats and then we'll figure out which passenger train to take now that we've reloaded here. Ethan Salzman, question for Heist and your friends. What is your guy's favorite cursed train? None of them. We don't like cursed trains. At least me, but I don't know. Anyone else? Cursed trains? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make that deal. <laughs> I'll make that deal. That's a damn, damn good damn deal. Damn good deal. Anyway, people uh, apparently other people like they don't have models they I, like. I guess but. I don't. I think my favorite would probably be the Midland Twenty Two, the 
the hoodoo engine that the Midland had. Oh, that's not a, that's not a that's cursed, a cursed. That's a different. Uh, that is yeah. Dusty is using the traditional term of cursed, as in the locomotive was just a normal locomotive, but it was like actually cursed in the way it was. Yeah. Um, Killed bunches of people. Yeah, some engines are like that. The Casey Jones engine, as I recently found out. Spoilers, I'm starting a podcast. Spoilers. I don't know when it's going to come out, so don't at me at. But uh, um, with uh, with Haley from the pod, uh, from the clothing video, um, she told me the story of Casey Jones, and I was riffing on it. It was kind of the format, and it was very fun. Um, the Casey Jones engine, the one that he died in, that locomotive was out for blood. Some of them were like that. Um, yeah, not ideal, but anyway, <laughs> so <clears throat> police 428, I'd take on a carbon removal on a steamy than an old GDI engine. I believe that. Yeah, you can get at a steam locomotive easily. Also, that micro shunner is the smart for two of trains, small, slow, unreasonably safe. A little bit. Blend Pie Nexus, I think you single-handedly make the CRRM more relevant. I didn't even know there was a nice little museum like that within a hundred miles. Oh, and you're and you're the one developing the uh, the fire door thing for the GoPro here in Denver. That's interesting. Um, Dusty did send me the uh, the video that was on CBS, and all of the comments were you guys, uh, which was making me giggle and warming my heart at the same time. Uh, the museum at the same time has been doing so much better in all its programming and what it's trying to do and how they're trying to change things and reframe and become a more modern museum than they have been. Um, so I like I don't think it's just me. Um, I think I've helped expose the museum to a broader internet audience, which is why like people on YouTube, all you wonderful people, are seeing that and saying that. But what we see day to day is such a diverse, cool cast of people coming to see the museum. I mean, it really is a triumph of everyone in every part it's not heist made this by any means um I, i'm just one guy uh you know i help out i do what i can and i try to be a cheerleader the best i can and obviously i've made uh, a good impact here in the digital space but in the in the real in the physical world space the museum's been doing excellently and doing well to interpret it to the the people who have been coming to it for a long time and trying to help those things so um as much as it was very funny to look at all the comments and go heist made this uh, on the CBS News thing, uh, <laughs> the, the museum has been making its own strides too. So uh, it, I, I'm not a man with a magic wand. So appreciate you guys though. <laughs> SolidWorks, Dural Valley's on my side. Uh, go to hell. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle, Watson. On Monday. <laughs> um, I mean, that's fine. Newcastle, Watson, Q, do you... Question: Do you do Jaeger bombs when out with the boys? Oh um, God, no! I don't. Oh. I don't think I've ever. Ugh. I think I've licorice. done a black I think, licorice. Ugh. I think I've done a Jaeger bomb once in college. Yeah, me too. Ugh. And that's it. Yeah, that's an early twenties thing. Yeah. I haven't after um, twenty five. No. Yeah, I I used to love an Irish car bomb, um, as not appropriate as they are. Um, they're delicious. They're delicious. <laughs> And I, but I, honest to God, don't recall the last time I did one. Well, we're gonna have to fix that because St. Patrick's Day next month, you know. That's true, but Just I'm gonna saying. be in California on St. Patrick's well, Day. Well, damn it. My travel schedule is a dumpster fire. We can do car bombs around St. Patrick's Day, though. Yeah. St. Patrick's know. month. And, and doing car Irish car bombs on St. Patrick's Day is kind of in really poor taste. So we can just well, enjoy. Yeah, we can just yeah, enjoy the true. drink and and like, you know. Oh, well, St. Patrick's Day is already kind of an American holiday anyways. It's it's one yeah. of those... Oh, I partied in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. I marched in the St. Patrick's Day parade, actually. And it was just a bunch of Americans getting hammered in Ireland. And I think the Irish were just happy for their uh, GDP. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Um, no, I don't do Jaeger bombs. Um, we, we tend to drink beer and whiskey. 
Uh, and that's what we like. So, and Dusty and I are enjoying whiskey this evening. So, anyway, yep. Charlie Campbell, favorite curse train is the Diesel Steam Fairly. Oh no! Don't no no no. Can I Shush. ban this person from chat? No, I can't. I can block them on my own account though. I could make you moderator, and you could ban them from chat. <laughs> <laughs> you actually probably should be a moderator, but anyway, Western Colorado something uh, H something double Western Colorado fairly history. history history. Okay, cool. Uh, it just gives me dot, 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 and I can't expand it, which is obnoxious. But anyway, double Farleys are cursed. Yeah, I mean, if you had two vans down by the river, that would be a little much. Um. <laughs> Living in a van down by the river. Daniel Chick, would you ever do a collab with Train of Thought? Oh, my shit. Uh, we actually emailed back and forth about doing one at the end of last year, and it was Polar Express, and then I was traveling, and I it slipped my radar. If you're out there trying to thought, uh, yeah, still game, live stream, video, something, whatever, like, let me know. That'd be fun. Um, he does a much more history-based approach than I do, as you guys know. The history-based approach stuff is not my my personal touchstone, my personal success point. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the cool mechanical, how does it work piece. Um, and with the nature of working with these old things, the history always comes in, and I learn from the wonderful people like Brett and from Dusty and from everyone else. Uh, that's not my strong suit. That was why I had somebody like Haley for the clothing video. Uh, that's not something that is my space. Uh, but Train of Thought uh, does a lot of that cool stuff and gets some of the niche stuff in that way. So it would be cool to, um, uh, it'd be cool to do a little collab there, you know, because I think we do a different thing, but we both are in the space. So it'd be fun. Uh, anyway, uh, good, good. Thank you for bringing that back up because I totally let it fall off the back of the stove like I do most things. Anyway, 94 Chevy Z71. Hey, SolidWorks, we don't need you here. Thank you, my friend. Smittle, 20 months as a conductor. Goodness, thank you. Yeah, 20 months is like the running target right now. I think it's May is going to be our two years of memberships. We'll have to do a special membership stream or something. It'll be fun. Sergeant Kilgore 406, thanks to you. I know of the CRM and will definitely visit when Colorado. You grew up watching the Durango and Silverton VHS tapes. Look forward to experiencing it in person. Experiencing it in person. Uh, you should. All of it. DNS is so cool. Uh, you will love it. So come on out. A Western Colorado history, a member for three months as an engineer. Uh, thank you. Thank you for showing me your whole name. Uh, and it said your title this time. I didn't know that you're an engineer. Uh, thank you so much. Um, once I recognize people in top chats, it's like, oh, no, I know who you are now. Uh, it's interesting. I, it's so hard to keep track of all you people. But anyway, thank you. And Chrome what X74. Mean, you people? An, what do you mean, you people? A conductor for 20 months as well. So thank you. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go look and see what, uh, what do we have here in terms of passenger jobs. And we're going to grab a duplex and have a time here. So let's see. Did we you have your chat stream. I did. I what? Did you restart the stream for the chat? Oh yes, I for did. Discord. Oh, Discord. It, it does eat. It does eat me a little bit. I'm gonna have to turn it down to like 15 FPS. That's okay. Unacceptable. It because uh, it was that was part of my encoding problem that it was having with yeah. Discord. Discord trying to encode while we were streaming. So, but uh, yeah, will hopefully it uh, that'll keep things up. But let's see. Goose is acting like his internet can handle more than if 15 <laughs> FPS. <laughs> All right, we have inner city. I can't disagree. <laughs> we the big the big ticket job is from city southwest to machine factory, with stops at the harbor and the food factory. Oh, that's a map tour, man! Harbor and food factory from here. That's a haul to there, back up to there. That's like that's like a grand circle tour now arriving anyway um and then we have an express train to the food factory direct which is a uh, faster way to get to the food factory then we have regional train with stops at uh c-i-a-m-o-v to harbor oh this is those are some of the new ones so the passenger mod has added like intra intra city stops so you might have oh. to stop along the way, which is actually really cool. Um, I almost want to do one of those. 
but if we're playing with a duplex, we also kind of want to go fast. So I don't know. Is there anybody out there who wants to go fast? And then we have one to the goods factory with stops C I and W F. C I and W F. C I is <laughs> there and W F is there. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do you What do you think? Those in VC text. Let's do that last one. You can still go reasonably fast on that route. You can. It's the least. It's yeah. almost least. But this one's a shit ton of money over here. It's. I guess it's sandbox. It doesn't really matter. But all right, we'll do. We'll do that one. Also, three. It's not train. about the money. Do we want just three? It's always about the money. It is. It is only three passenger cars. It's I guess that is. Uh, sending a message. It's three. It's three passenger cars. If we run the that one. Whereas the other ones are bigger. I don't know. Is it a better test of the duplex to do a bigger train? Probably. Actually, this is 108 tons, and then this one's 216 tons. I mean, it's like none of them are heavy. So, I, whatever. We'll just do the thing. It's fine. Uh, okay, PR24. We'll get a train parked on that, and then we'll do it. PR24. It's the short one. Two four. That's four two. Uh, to goods factory. This one. All right. Oh, this is just parked all the way up. Spotted all the way up. All right. But, uh, let me spawn in some choo choo action here, and then I will take a look at those top chats. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. S two eight two. S two eight two a. Um. Oh man, I clicked and that took a hot second to load. And then let's see. Uh, so uh, John Deere boy is recommending we do the 2442. And I'm not going to neglect his guidance here. And oh my God, look at this fucking thing. This shit is rad, dude. Yeah. Ooh, it's got Caprati yeah. valve it's got, gear. It's what the? It's, it's got, got Caprati an, valve gear. It's animated too. It, what satiric, brain. you son of a bitch. Man. You son of a bitch. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, I'm excited to see that because I don't really understand Caprati that well. But anyway, um, let's get this thing fired up and happy and ready to rock. I'm going to keep that break on. Insert the beans there. I'm glad the skins still work. <laughs> all right. It's, uh, all right. Let's freaking that. Go there. Uh huh. Uh, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shovel. Shuffle. There we you go. know, if we're going by popular rule, this would be called a skookum. A skookum with Caprati valve gear. <laughs> I just saw the camera. I saw you frozen in the game, and then I saw the camera change on screen. <laughs> no, not approved. Uh, this thing, this thing is not capable of spaghettiing an eccentric crank, and it's also not a, a uh, compound. It is a simple articulated. It's not an articulated. Oh it's yeah, not articulated. It's, it's not an articulated at all. It's a duplex. It's a duplex. Get out. It's not an articulated, it's not compound. Go back to Mexico with your 18 inch headlights. All I want to know is when Derail Valley is going to give you a tortilla to light a locomotive off with. Uh, that is true. Alt Future, you're not listening because uh, you, you got to have uh, a that bottle. Is accurate. You got to have a bottle of booze and a tortilla to light the engine off with. Um, I would this accept. Region. I would accept Rakia. Shlivo. Uh, Shlivo, Shlivo, Rakia, Shlivovitz, and any of the old country. Lead uh, <laughs> the lead bathtub Shlivo from my family. I would accept that plus, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, but, and some Burek. Give me some Burek and Shlivo that I can set on fire to light the engine up, and it'll truly be authentic steam experience. Because, yes, Dusty has lit off 491 with a tortilla soaked in tequila before. Literally. Not even joking. Val valve oil. Valve oil. Valve oil. 
you did tequila, I think, on something. I don't remember. Oh, I thought I thought you lit the tortilla on tequila, because yeah, no, I I soaked a rag in tequila. No, I, I did a one time. tortilla soaked in valve oil. Oh, uh, t- valve oil t- t- tortilla, my favorite, my favorite holographic meatloaf. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's catch these uh, top chats here, and we'll go from. No, there. hold on. Before that, satiric in chat with not a top chat, but a very important chat. Okay. Fun fact, there is a browning high power in the game files for DV. What? <laughs> Why? Huge boats with guns. Gunboats. Gunboats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Except it's a 9 mil pistol. <laughs> Interesting. Um, let me see. I'm not sure where I left off. Chrome X74. Uh, Connector for 20 months. Thank you. Yeah. Average RPG character. Can't wait for the Minecraft stream. Almost done with the recreation of Union Terminal in Cincinnati on the server right now. Has a bit your own twist on it. Uh, I need to reschedule that. Um, and I'm not sure when we can do it. I'm going to Florida next week. It's the whole thing. Uh, so maybe later this month. Dustin TLE. Damn, been here a hot minute, huh? Need to get over your social anxiety and talk more. By all means, my friend. Um, we are good uh, at talking with everybody the best we can here uh very very happy to chat with everyone so yeah come hang out come join the discord and come talk oh, see God. we even put up with this Aries. asshole yeah 844 cab ride <laughs> looking what does ass it mean? motherfucker what does it mean <laughs> it means you looked like a super foamer getting a cab ride on the 844 <laughs> what does what? that make what does that make me with having a cab ride on the the 4014. Uh, a, a steam railroading guy getting a great experience. Jersey was okay. embodying full foamer vibes. It's okay. fine. What the fuck did I do? Who was Sam? Who was <laughs> Sam? Sam is one of our brakemen at the museum. He met you, <laughs> and then you all, you guys all piled in for the cab ride down with the 491 down the hill. And, it's an 844 and he, fan trip. It was yeah. an 844 fan trip is one of the jokes Like when you packed. Why did I get singled out? Because you, you got because mentioned by name. <laughs> recently you were easy to pick out with the van halen jacket a little bit well it wasn't bit. my fucking fault mark said everyone up everyone up now everyone oh no up. i mean uh, we're not we're not faulting that uh you you just did look like an 844 uh fan trip ass motherfucker i fine. didn't have a single piece of real tire on me you're fine it it doesn't matter fault. you're so fine anyway Physicist, I wonder what the OXX arranged locos do now. We'll have to play with those. I want to play with the duplex first, and then we'll look at that maybe after that. Hey. Colorado train nerd, what was the Amtrak derailment in East Colorado? Was that the one with the the, the, the milk the, truck? The milk the truck, milk yeah. truck, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was pretty nasty by the look of it. I, uh, I don't. I haven't heard how the engineers doing, but that was like the most serious. En- yeah. Right. Engineer. The engineer got was he had to go to the hospital. From what I heard, yeah, maybe life, airlifted life even. Stuff, yeah. Um, they nailed a they nailed a milk truck at a crossing. From what I heard, so yeah. Uh, Michael and Bessie, it is huevos for days, but maybe you sand starting. It's a duplex. Yeah, I figured that. Thank you though. Sean J Animations, my friend. After having seen the duplexes for the first time a few days ago, I knew that the loco mesh mod was a good addition. Lamau. Also, this update VR is so much more so much more smoother than on B ninety seven. Thanks, Alt Future. Alt Future is. Excellent. We're, I mean, really, I'm excited to clickbait my next DRL Valley career video with how awesome they are. So, because they deserve it. So, Michael and Bessie, don't forget the air compressors. Right. We do have to turn on the things here. That's the lubricator up there. Uh, where is the air pump? Same spot. Okay. Right up there. Does it have two? You said air compressors. Doesn't look like it. Is it still? Is it still just the? Is it just the one nine and a half that's tucked in the stupidest location known to man? <laughs> yep. But that's apparently so. a loading gauge. Uh, I mean, this is a USATC two hundred. Is apparently what the locomotive is actually based on. So the uh, the OG one, not the duplex one. But anyway, more coal, more hole. Okay. Uh, the duplex one is based on the concept of a mountain of cocaine. <laughs> Much like the real thing. It's good. Is it just the um, the uh, Chrysler uh, like everyone like trying to make vehicles more efficient, and Chrysler just doing a giant riff of cocaine, being like, 
The Town and Country Hellcat! Yeah! That meme. Yeah, sort of. That. Yeah. Alright. When you City sit Southwest. in Monaco okay. and Florian in to... cahoots just going, Fuck, send it! CI is our next stop here. When uh when you said mountain of cocaine, I was wondering where cocaine was, where the city of cocaine was. <laughs> are we are we good to depart? How how do we know when we're good to go? Wait, what? Hold on, did they add passenger trains? No, this is a mod. Oh this man, been, this has been a mod forever. I don't know. I don't know if we were good. I don't know if we were good to depart or not. I didn't hear the thing. Uh, me thinks you now need a stopwatch. Right. All right, I've kicked the uh, kicked the handbrake off on the cars, which is probably helpful. Don't have a stopwatch. I'm gonna. Oh no, I do. I have a pocket watch right there. Pocket uh, save. Yeah, thirteen oh seven, and it is thirteen oh seven. I started it and, it and the hand's not moving. I think we're good to go. So uh, we're, we're just gonna go. We're gonna run the route anyways. Let's see what this thing does. Somebody says you need to wait for the bell. You need to wait, I guess I've heard, but, but we didn't hear the bell. There was no bell. And the time keeps I didn't keeps hear increasing. no bell. I think I uh, didn't hear no bell. Oh, we're not uh, oh, we're not knuckled into the cars. That's part of the problem. I spawned it in and it usually knuckles in automatically, so. Couldn't hear the bell over all the dingling. Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. That includes you, you know. <laughs> think with your dipstick, Jimmy. I know I'm the biggest dingling. That's why I'm here. Pack the entire train in is what physicist is saying. I trust physicist on these things. Oh, it it does the thing. It does the good thing. Good. Oh, I love that. That's the dumbest little thing, but I love that. Side note, I logged into Facebook for like the first time in a week because I hate Facebook. Um, and I saw there was a post by Ed Dickens that was a cab ride footage of the, the freight shove. And uh, my foamer boner peaked. I was going to say, I've seen There's the bell. that. Um, Here we go. Sand. Here we go. I've Come seen on. that footage. Not on Facebook, but I've seen it. From the cab, though, would be from, from the cab, yeah. Yeah, I've seen the cab footage. Not on Facebook. So, dun, 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 you got a handbrake on. You looked at the valve No, I don't. Here. I had I had my independent brake on. Have you, you watched turn one the, of the cars handbrakes on? Thing? Uh oh oh, Whoa. look at look at those U joints, crazy ass Pennsylvania ass shit. All right, where are we going again? B six LP one uh, C I W F. Pennsylvania's more Irish, Brett. C I W F. Yeah, we're going to the right. All right, well we are going to the right. Good. Uh, Not denying that, but Caprati Valdez. I, I thought they were more. I thought they were it's from Italy. I thought they were more Dutch. A pizza in the past. Pennsylvania Dutch. Pennsylvania well, Dutch is German, thank you very much. Well, you know more. Yeah, but still. Well, you know. Yes, this. <laughs> Tell the family secret, Grandma was Dutch. Handbrake on the passenger carriage? No. You guys heard one squeaky thing and said that there's handbrakes on, and there, there's probably not. Oh, there's absolutely a handbrake on that one. Yep, okay. All right, all right. All right, fine. You guys are right. I'm wrong. We're bleeding through a brake. It's fine. We're going to try and take it off at track speed, and that's going to work, I'm sure. Just, you know, the, the brake shoes perform better when they're red. The red it's ones fine. go faster. It's fine. Red always goes faster. The red, the red brakes apply faster. <laughs> The uh, whistle just agreed, so just saying. We'll fix it at the next station. They'll be melted by then. It's fine. Pizza time. 
It's time. You know, of the one, uh, they, they made so many good changes that I can't bitch about this too hard. But Zybok and I did talk about this um, months ago. Uh, I complained about it in an episode, and Zybok was like, what do you mean? I read this documentation. That This is how this should be. Um, and they're reading independent break documentation and thought that the dump should spring back. And I was like, well, uh, yes, but actually, no. The, the automatic doesn't do that. That's cool as hell. I'm back. That's cool as hell, dude, Satiric. Slipping only one engine set? Yeah. Dude, that's... That's baller! I'm gonna have to do a video about these. Whistle agrees. 60, all right, come on. That's 60, but 60 means 70 or 75, so. Wait, the ES and D skins work on the duplex? Yep. Because Satiric was really smart with how he programmed it. Alright, someone's gotta make a skin uh, for ESD number 5550. Yep, please. 5550. With green, with Several things wrong with what you just said that I'm not going to get into because it's more fun or things. Oh, come on. <laughs> and you, the sensor just exploded up in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> We could say no, fuck this you, whole time? No, all you would need is number manager support. And there you go. Oh yeah, Mark, did you see the second photo I found of the Uinta 5? I did. Uh, it had as many pixels as the first. <laughs> yeah, less conclusive, but hey. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I do think you're really, really onto something there. Um, I just need to find I wish, I wish Jeff was at the museum the past few days. I didn't get to see Jeff because I would have pestered him about it. Um, Dusty looked at it, and Dusty was like, neat. What, what did I look at? The, 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 the Uinta whistle that Jersey oh, yeah, had found. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do more research on it. Dusty had looked up more stuff on DPL and, and couldn't find more stuff. Um, I'm going to have to look at... Um, the volume two book I have. Yeah, please. Uh, the, was, ten. the ten. Yeah, ten. ten. Mikado. Um, I, uh, no, not Mikado. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's a it's a Connie brother. Come on. Okay, I got I the one left. truck wrong. I'm off by one axle. Oh, I'm off by one axle. You know what one axle gets you? It gets you from a fucking decapod to a. Santa Fe. Uh, that's uh, I can't. I don't. It gets know you from I'm a Connie there. to a Deckapod. Yeah, yeah, Connie to a Deckapod. That's that's more of a that's more of a comparison. All right, high ball. Here we go. That's the difference between a Pensy H10 and a Pensy I1, which is like how many pounds of tractive effort? N1 different? Berkshire, or do the funny. 000. Yes. S28 uh, J1 S282 F cut up tip 100 notch to 37 percent notch 10. Well, we're <laughs> mo using modded stuff here, but yeah, sure. Yeah, Jay, I, that might be right for the original 282 wheel arrangement, but this is this not. is this well, is a this is a 282 with extra it, steps. It is a 282. No, no, don't call it that. This is a Who's I am going to shoot two. you the next time I see you? If you continue. <laughs> Bring it on. God, this thing I accelerates see. fast. We I are we you, are uh, screaming. I sent you a text too, Mark. Just so FYI. Oh, gotcha. Uh, your logic, Skookum, is also a two-eight. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh god, I need to stop. I need to stop. We need to brakes, 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 brakes. How did we make it around that? How did we make it around that? All right, full bit, full canvas. And give me water, dear help me, please, somebody. Oh my god, this is this is literally this is maximized stupid uh Dear El Valley. Having this much power in a steam engine. <laughs> this is excellent. Excellent! 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 Put them in the iron maiden. 
Excellent! Ex Execute them! Focus. Focus. <laughs> we should watch that. Uh, over my Dude, I love that movie. Yeah. Is that a full sight glass or an empty sight glass? Oh, that's a full sight glass, thank god. Something, something, volunteer. Oh, the 491 doesn't have any water. No, it's out the top of the sight glass. Pretty much. Yoink! Hey, why are you up here with me? Yeah. Alright, speed. Speed and power. Gotta try and set some records here. I hear a ding. ding. Western Colorado History Museum. Uh, History. Did you know that Ridgeway uh, Railroad Museum now has an air gauge Plymouth switcher? I did not. That's cool. Yeah, Good for it's, them. It's, I think it's a little smaller than Kiwi. Kiwi? So like maybe a six ton. I don't remember. It's yeah. It, it can pull like one car around their loop barely. Well, it's that's that's enough for what they're doing, really. So that's exciting. It's good for them. And Michael and Bessie, best e-brake is just put loco in full reverse. I mean, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to put the loco in like 40% reverse and pray, like some other game. All the water's gone. Oh, why is all the water gone? Come back, water, please. Come back, water, please. Please come back, water. Water, come back. Oh, there it is. Okay. That makes me feel better. We're doing 80 through a 70. We're just gonna let it roll. Let it roll, baby. Roll. Oh, it's a live stream. Let it roll, baby. Roll. Every time I say that, roll, that's what's in baby, my head. Roll. And, I, and I can't sing it because the YouTube algorithm thing would kill it, but live streams really? doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the cool, oh, like, Doppler no. dual thing. Yeah, it's great. 70. Cancellation. Uh, Stevie Ray phase Vaughan, cancellation, isn't it? yeah. Is it Stevie Ray? Yeah. I don't is know it? if it was him originally. He certainly covered it at one point, but. Oh, God, my damper has not been all the way up this time. Oh my god, the only volume 2 that's currently up on eBay is $250. For what volume 2? You in a you railway, in railway, volume 2. Oh. Uh, which I got Wait first. Till the book sale in May. Yeah, we could probably find you one jersey. Please, thanks. 100 and a 95. Oh god, we have to stop at this platform! Oh no! There's a platform here! Uh, yeah. Hi, platform! Bye, platform! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this 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 train makes all stops. I promise. It makes all stops eventually. Uh, oh look at those brake shoes glowing red. They're fine. Just They're fine. all fine. They're all fine. Give it the snab! Give it the snab! Reverse beans. <laughs> Oh yeah, we need to figure out if, if Mainline's watching. Do you have a Discord embeddable version of Emperor of the North? I do. You Mid have a Discord embeddable version. Mid Midland does. What? Have you been looking? Why for are one? you surprised that Anti has a Discord embeddable version of Emperor of the I, North? I thought he was there yesterday for when we were asking for one. I was not. No. Oh, you missed. The, you missed the. the That's Shaq's train. Effect. No, I've I've been too busy I've been too busy making railroader give me hundreds of thousands of dollars per passenger. <laughs> Hundred and five miles an hour in a bird train. That so too. No more, no more friction around curves either. Is that so what their curve variable do... is? Is the friction through curves for engines? Uh ask Anti, not me. Uh, it is. It's based on the uh, fucking coefficient of friction and st of steel on steel and curve radius and stuff. Cool. All I did was change uh, multiply by the coefficient of friction of steel on steel and change it to multiply by zero to remove the friction. I would need to reopen the tag. I would need to reopen the DLL. Watch him a fucking thing to actually tell you what the formula is. It's fine. 
he, he's that's just that's made that's notes about saying, oh, Ker uh, Berkshire's now radius big, and I was like, what does that mean? What does it all mean, Basil? What do the numbers mean? Oh, well, I mean, turning off friction for the curves, and, you know, so... Uh, the radius big, uh, the minimum radius actually doesn't affect the curve. Like, it doesn't affect the uh, curve friction, from what I can tell. It only affects how fast you could go around the corner without the railing. Cool. So, like, Little River 110 could take curves faster than the Burke. But like, now it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, like, base game, Little River 110 could do 35 around the corner that the Burke would derail at 30. Just as an example. I think I, I think I topped out at 104.7 today, down Red Marble. I can go faster. I need a Pacific, but I can go faster. 104.7, cool beans. <sighs> Sorry, sounded like a radio station. It, it did, didn't it? You're listening to 6325, The Steve. You are listening to 6325 The Steam. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's going off. There's no way that's not going off. What do you mean it's not going off? It's fine. It's fine. Mostly fine. I guess it slowed down fast enough. Plenty of water now, finally. The duplexes are killer. They seem to accelerate really fast. They, they accelerate stupid quick, which is the point. You got two engines, like, you're trying to get places. Why did they make a 6446 and then run passenger with it? Because they had places to be, okay? We're turning steam into speed. Yeah, why did they why did they make a 6446 and then get pitch cat by the Indiana State Police? What? We're just gonna keep the hammer down. Sandbox, we don't need to turn in jobs. I'm surprised I've not fallen off oh there it is. Okay, that's all I had to say. <laughs> on cue. Ooh. Instantaneously yeah, on cue, it rolled over and blew up. Ow, that's tubes out the front. Wow, well, yeah, look at that. Cthulhu. It's fine. Auntie, could you do me a favor? Auntie, could you go into the Ops Night soundboard and activate the sound if you find there? Oh, God. Uh... The diesel bell is still ringing at the overwall. The overwall. I want that sound oh, no. effect. Oh no! <laughs> you are. I want that sound effect. Are you not Jersey? I am. Um, but but I need that. I need that. The for, the, for, the, for, the oh no. For, the oh no is very good. Any passengers on that the, train? Not anymore. They're dead. They've been killed. As far as I can tell, that's the original I Love Toy Trains. Oh no! I will send that to you, Jersey. We should vehicle put that in this zero, too. cargo oh, sure. zero, and it was loaded. So the cargo, air go the passengers. Uh, they're now uh, D. <laughs> the cargo D. no go. This yep. cargo bird no -go. is no Th more. Thankfully, the cargo no longer complain. Zero percent. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, you know. What about the cargo space? Car no go space. No cargo <laughs> road. Cargo road. <laughs> The vehicle is, is somewhat everyone. okay, but everyone's dead. The entire <laughs> the entire train everyone. the entire it's... train of duplex uh, has died. It's fine. Oops. Uh, last little thing to look at: vehicle catalog. Uh, we get all sorts of cool little details about the locomotives now. You should probably leave the scene of the mass murder before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before <laughs> rambling on about something else. Fine. If I must. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, leave the scene of the crime before a... saying, hey, look at this cool thing. Hey, look at this cool thing. Look at this derailed ruined train. Anyway. Vehicle catalog. Uh, so we get to see scores of things. What are they good at? Which is interesting. Um, 
There it is. Okay, interesting. So D2480, I wonder why they call it the 480. I don't know. Um, they're giving it flat to, oh, oh, look, they've given load ratings now. Is it because it's for now. 480 tons? No, so you get load no. ratings at the upper right. 1,200 tons on the flat, 300 oh. tons on a 2% on a grade in, in clear, and 250 in the wet. That's what she said. <laughs> How do you spell that? Anyway. Um, that's cool. What I don't know what the 480 is about, actually. Maybe it's the voltage is or something. That horsepower maybe May, uh, maybe 1981 through 1996 you get some cool stuff v6 diesel traction motors front radiator self-lapping air valves central dual facing closed cab etc 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 dynamic braking uh very low points uh load rating very low heat management very low like interesting uh so 60 ease of operation bitch please <laughs> it doesn't have all of the things uh it's the steam engine it's easy as shit you put coal in the hole and keep water in it congrats he says and then people make a compilation of all the times i've blown it up but anyway uh range range two range two but um uh, my my video about the so 60 making it across the map is closing in on a million views so it you can make it across the map you just have to know Almost. how to fire it. Almost. <laughs> While knowing how to fire it. Um, that's pretty funny. I, lo I love these little details. These are pretty neat to see. And then tonnage ratings, 1,500, 400, 300. The DM3, 2,000, 500, 400. That's, I mean, that's nuts. Um, DH4, 2,600, 500. DH4's got better tonnage than the D DM3. Are you shitting me? Why would you ever God, run the DM3 then? Diesel hydraulic for the win. Diesel hydraulic for the win, as the okay, diesel Cog hydraulic man. Cogman said. Unless it's a Krauss Moffy, then it's just, you know. The Americans can't maintain those, so you know how that goes. Yeah. What is this maintenance thing you, you, you tell us about? Yeah. Uh, S282. The mountain Germans. S282, 3,000, 1,800. I mean, that. That actually pretty well corresponds with what I've seen. That checks. Two cylinder valve gear. I don't know if I'd call it that. 14 bar bar coal burner and it's superheated. Uh oh. Uh hey, adult future. Please uh please DM me. Zybok. DM me. You people watching, in case Zybok isn't watching, DM Zybok. Tell him them to talk to me about superheat. Because their engine does not do superheat right. And we can have a very fun, nuanced conversation. And that will lead to fun things, as we've learned. Because they're DE6 now. Oh, I'm so excited to brag about that for my video on Tuesday. Ah, tender. Yes, exciting. DE6. DE6 barely outdoes the, uh, the S282 on a grade. Which actually, the... with, with the same base tonnage the de6 would probably be worse on the grade which is funny ah well maybe not no I actually no it, no it would be because the motor is you can run it slower and it and it applies more power whereas you lose power with the steam engine that makes sense yeah i know that makes sense that's cool responsiveness one it's a, <laughs> it's, a it's a ge it's fine the, this manual is i mean this is really bloody cool this is this is actually for for people that know don't know things about locomotives, this is a great overview. For people who know things about locomotives, this is a great way to learn some nerdy details the, of their sim. Um, that's brilliant. The hauling score of the hand car is nil. Hand car. Uh, I will prove you wrong on that <laughs> if I have to. Uh, it's fine. It has no sander. What the fuck? Um, support the literally caboose, unplayable. The caboose. The hauling score. It's got dynamic braking. I mean I mean yes, but actually no, but yes. <laughs> what? It's fine. The the caboose has a really strong handbrake in the game, and they're calling that oh. dynamic braking. It's fine. Okay. This is this is actually a wonderful quality of life ad, because the amount of times I've actually looked up on Reddit what tonnage is this engine good for? Uh is every time I play Dural Valley. 
So to be able to pull this up and just know. And then they're and then they're supplying some history here too. Like look at that. There's so much info in here. It's packed in the DE2 from 81 to 96. The 060 from 42 to 48. Because it's an S100. Um I, I hate to break it to you, Alt Future, but there is still an S060, an S100, in service, albeit sparingly, in Bosnia, in revenue service, as of at least 2019. I'm not sure if it's still running. Um, I will report back after I go look in June. Uh, but uh, anyway, 1948 is not, uh, not a great date, uh, for revenue service at least. DM3, 49 to 62, I don't know about that. DH4, 72 to 88, okay. S282, 38 to 45, doubt that. Uh, well, for an S200, I don't know how many of them survived. They weren't as near as common as like an S160 or whatever, so. The DE6 from 60 to 75, the tech of the DE6 is still running. Um, God be NSF had older engines than that running. Years rather than so. use year. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, oh, produced year. Oh, okay. If it's produced year, that actually makes a shit ton of sense then. And that, you know, that's that's probably a better way to rank it, because then that, that's a that's a closed loop. Like you you never know exactly when shit'll come out of service. So that's um that's totally fair. Okay. I rescind my comment. Fair enough. That uh, that makes it that makes a ton of sense. My goodness, yeah, the the amount of detail in this, and and spacing and detail like, cool as shit. Alt feature, yeah. I had to know. I didn't oh. Know. I had to know. <laughs> the the tank cars are blowing up. <laughs> Things are happening. What? Things are happening. Hang on. We gotta t check the top chats here. Uh, somebody, uh -oh. somebody. There you go. Somebody threw some cash down. <laughs> I need to catch up here. <clears throat> All right, let me see where, let's see. Okay, we did Michael and Bessie's and then Physicist, don't forget the other wheel arrangements. Uh, do I just need to do the O blank blanks? Are those, are these the, one, the ones I'm missing? Uh, we can take a look at those. Western Colorado history, history, you sent a pic on Discord of the switcher, cool. Oh, it's adorable! It's so cute! Look at it! Oh my god! It's not Pee Wee, it's Pee Wee! Like, it's Pee Wee with oh. only only two E's total. It's... It's itty it's bitty. It's Pee Wee, but all forehead. It's Pee Wee, <laughs> but, but look at the frames! Pee Wee's frames are four inches thick. That's an inch. Like, this is like a two or three ton. Like, this is the... Idiest, bittiest little doot that has ever dooted. It's this is very peewee is oink. This is very cute. Um, and that, I'm, I'm very, adorable. I'm very glad that they have this. Um, because op's sake, I mean it's great, but I mean it is the idiest, bittiest little thing. And the the muffler situation, I'm not gonna even question. About how Pee Wee's is almost. Uh, Pee Wee doesn't have a muffler though. It's just got the the tractor flap. So. Oh, does it not have a muffler under the hood? Oh, it might. I thought it did. I think it does. It might. Under, it's under the hood. I guess there's no yeah. space for it under the hood on that one, is there? No. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe you get a Miller hook to use it with that coach they've got that has the Miller hook. That'd be fun. It's got a Miller hook on one end and a Janie on the other, and if I remember right, so it's fine. It does. Alligator76, hey, hi, sir. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, my friend. Doing well. Daniel McKee, yes, uh, glad to finally catch the live stream again. Hope you're healthy and well. Doing well, man. Daniel Chick, is there such a thing as an O2O? Uh, yeah. Did you watch my wheel arrangement video? The monorail. That was the thing. On on real tracks, on, on two rails, uh, never heard of one. That'd be, you'd have to have a gyroscope or something. That'd be weird. Right. Uh, with having two, I mean, you, yeah, you have to balance it somehow and never heard of it. But anyway, uh, my call 1255 with 
a hundred dollar super chat. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. The 480 is a classification thing. The first number is a rough load rating on a scale from zero to nine. The second number is the decade it was made. Again, scale from zero to nine, zero being 1900 and before and nine being 1990s. And the last number is for extra classifications. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. That, that's that's a nifty way to classify it. Um, be It'd be cool to, I'm sure, Dear Valley's got so much documentation that I throw it away uh, in game or just toss it on the ground and forget about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I did that and that was that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I hope they explain that because that's a neat bit of kit. That's pretty cool. Um, Daniel McKee's free one and paid one. Thank you. Marcus Fusen, I've unloaded two planes since the stream started, clocked off and went home. Still going, glad you can tune in even with work. I'm glad you can too. Um, I, I didn't understand, uh, how often my streams and longer form videos help a lot of people with their work day and their experience. Um, and that's why I'm going to keep doing the longer form content. Like I've realized that is it every viewer? No. Uh, is it most of my viewers? No, but the people who have to sit through, you know, Excel spreadsheet hell for 45 minutes or two hours doing some monotonous bullshit, um, having something interesting to listen to that they care about is helpful. So I'm happy to try and help be that. So anyway, timer man, 765. I think it was a good idea. If it was possible and ethical was to do a 10 mile track of standard cage and restore 5629 and run it on the main line. And, uh, yeah, it'd be fine. Uh, good. 5629 would be really fun. It's a lot of choo-choo. That's a lot of choo-choo. Yeah, choo -choo. It would be that that engine, the O5s in general, it would be incredible to see one run. I would love to see one run, and I, I really wish one could. Um, of the O5s, 5629 is probably in pretty good shape and probably would be the best candidate. But... Uh, of the 484s out I, there, of the 484s out there that run, how many get to run on the main? Anyone? 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 None. Anyone? Mixing 11, 2102. Uh, 611 uh, doesn't run on the main. 611 runs on short lines, and it gets towed on the main. Uh, and 2102 uh, runs on a class 2 main because the owner is a huge foamer, and we love that, and we appreciate the shit out of it. Do not look at me like saying that i'm trying to belittle that like that is fucking excellent but like to run excellent. a 484 to restore it and run it on the main line the last one to do it so far as i know is 4449 for an imax movie when i still worked for bnsf okay i'm going to i'm going to fight you on the 611 thing because i, I will make it they abundantly drug, they drugged clear. it dead every time it's moved anywhere shut up listen Shut your mouth and listen for me. To, to me, for once. God. Yeah. Anyway, last year, when it ran on the Buckingham branch, that trackage is not just used by Buckingham branch. It is used by Amtrak trains. It is used by CSX through freights. It is mainline. Welded rail. Good for 40 miles an hour. It is mainline. Not mainline. That is 100% Good for mainline. 40. You're full of shit. Good for 40. That's not the main. You lose. Good day, sir. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck they you! Go it's, the running it's the main line! <laughs> they restored it right on the main line! NS wouldn't fucking run it more than 40 because they were a bunch of pansies. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you! <laughs> was it. Okay, I know I was really mean right then. But! Was it cool as fuck to see it running a match set of cars even at 40? Yes. Was that incredible? Yes. Was that amazing that Wick who's now with EBT, made that happen? Yes. But as soon as Wick left, NS went, fuck the steam choo-choo, we don't care, and threw it away. And it is now relegated to bullshit. And a branch line, you say branch line, and it's restored and run it on the main line, not the branch line. Yes, it's a branch line with CWR, but 
any branch line that it gets used is going to be CWR these days. And if it's a branch, run at 40. It's not a branch line. You said what it was it a branch. Called? You said it no, was a that's branch. the name of the railroad. Buckingham Branch, as in the fucking branch of the river. Well, why did they name their name 40 is not that? a main. And 40 is so. not a main. Yeah. Just saying. Oh my god. I was just going to say that I would to like play, to, to play devil's devil's advocate in this, though. It's not a northern, but 765 does get to go play on the racetrack every now and again. That is that, you know, I think it hasn't I think, done that since 2019. It's, and... it's been five years. Yeah. But when it did do it, I mean, oh, fuck, that was cool. 70 miles an hour. I mean, that was that that's the that's the coolest big mainline steam shit we've had in a while. Uh, the big mainline steam that, shit uh, is kind of East coast engine. That's kind of a main. Yeah, the uh, um, yeah the the thing that FM and uh, Debbie not runs. Northern, so, yeah. it's the Pacific. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong; it's cool as fuck. But the 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 big thing of it is that, like, the restore so it to run point, it yes, on the main line. Northern is not very. There's not much for it to do in this. Day oh, age. fuck right. you! Read your super chat and weep. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess I'll see that in a second. Uh, Wesky, Pee Wee, and DV1. That would be fun. I mean, it's basically DM3 with with a clutch, but a clutch would be uh, stupid in Duro Valley. A clutch you, would be hard in DV. Uh, um, unless you had a, a foot VR controller. <laughs> so, anyway. I was um, just going to oh, say ooh. real quick Jacob that, Pfeiffer, um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Is Going back to the 05 conversation, I would like to see, I think it was 5630 or 5632, whichever one got the six axle, or the three axle trailing truck. Make it a four eight six. Fifty six thirty two got cut up. Um, that that was the gold one that that died. Fifty six thirty three yeah. still existed. I don't know which one got a bigger trailing truck. I was gonna say I know one of them got a bigger trailing truck, and it actually looks better with that. Because if you oh, look at fifty six twenty nine, um, they still look great. Uh, if you they still they... look good, but under the cab, it just looks empty. As as a lot of big four eight fours look, but anyway, um, yeah. Jacob Jacob Pfeiffer, if you restore it and got ten miles of track for it, it would be restore it and run it on the straight line. That would be fun. I mean, we could we could scoot with it. Like the thing the thing you'd want with fifty six twenty nine, that thing did a hundred miles an hour in commuter service to Chicago. Like you'd want to run the shit out of that thing, and that's just not really conducive to anything. But anyway. Buckingham Branch is the property of the state of Virginia. It's planned for an actual passenger corner, so it'll be a full mainline in the future. 611 doesn't have PTC, so F. Oh, PTC makes it a mainline. Fuck you. No. PTC no. will make it have to exist with the passenger trains to continue running there. And yeah. uh, it, will be, there it, will be, it will be a full mainline in the future, not right now. When it, it has was the PTC, Twisted Beacon, Ohio's main line there is for Richmond. Hard copium coming out of New Jersey right now. There oh, is very you. hard co copium there coming around. There was the CNO main line. You're just gonna go up to the fucking CNO and be like, mm, "This isn't fast enough. I don't like hey, it." Hey, uh, yeah, hey, you, you know, you know how much? Hey, 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 hey Jersey, Jersey, you, 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 you of all people, Jersey should know. You know all those like cute little other roads that existed around new england like the new haven and oh, some God. of those roads that had all these like competing main lines they're like this is my main line and it's so important and there's 15 other of them right next to them and now that it's the modern day they've all been thrown away because no one cares but tearing up that stuff is, is hard not what southern railroading was like and you know it yeah but it's really not what western railroading is like at all and we still only oh, throw stuff sometimes. End of story. 40 mile an hour is only a main if you're on the narrow gauge. Shut the fuck up. You should, you, fuck you. Am I wrong? I would like to point out that there's a three-track standard gauge main about 10 miles from me that's limited to 30. To be fair, it is going up the side of a mountain, but still. Well, you know, details. 611 is not running on the main. 611 is running where 611 can. And we love that for 611. That is great. Like, it's excellent. That's a wonderful locomotive. It's wonderful that it got restored. Like, it, it is truly a great story of preservation that it, got, it, like, got another chance at preservation after the first chance because 
we all know that 1218 still sits. Like, that's a huge thing. But is it running on the main? I would say no. Is it doing the meme? Uh, no. Is it cool as fuck? Do I desperately want to go see it? Do I desperately want to experience what that is? Yes. No matter what it is. Even if it's the Strasburg at 10. Like, it doesn't matter. Right? Like, that's that's why we're in this. But is it the main line? No. And, uh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Silly little things. Anyway. Mr. Hedgebull, the UK has a 462A1 Peppercorn completed on 2008, rated for mainland running, currently in overhaul, but the A1 Steamworks is building another one. Yes, the Tornado! I'm very familiar with the Tornado. Cool as shit. Um, I can't believe that they're doing as much in this first rebuild for a brand new locomotive as they are, but Britain is a strange place. <laughs> so, anyway. Timer Man 765, you're meaning to take make a lot of track for 5629 where it can run fast. Um, there's no place for a standard gauge engine to do that unless you bought time at the test track down in Pueblo. And uh, 5629 needs a couple million dollars worth of work before it can get there. But anyway. Um, and Corey Gibson, say mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> that's, that's what we say about Dusty and Jeff. You can't say that about Thanks. me in Jersey. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she I guess was gonna yeah. say, uh, instead of you know just making a lot of track for it, uh, is it BNSF that has track like right next to the museum? It is. You just couple into that. Yeah. That okay. Used to uh, be the you... main line up Clear Creek. That was the main line up <laughs> Clear Creek. Uh, do you want to? Um... Hey, Corey. Do you want to talk to BNSF for us on that and uh, see how far you get? Because. Um... <laughs> That's, well, a, that's, a, that's, I, a, that's a really fun conversation to have. How many million dollars do you have? Do you have the $21 million of insurance it takes for one year to run a locomotive on their main line? $21 million? Nice. Do you have that? I don't know if you do. If I, yeah, if you can I ever restore become it. very, you, very rich, right. that will happen. I, 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 Twenty-one we, millions for freight too. We we, we also we, we all hope for these things. We all desire these things. Like don't get oh, me yes. wrong, I would love nothing more than to see the O5 smoking it on the main. And it seems so easy to say, build a switch, run on BNSF. But I mean, it really is. They want twenty million, twenty-one million dollars to run freight over their track. Uh, that's freight. That's not even. That's not even passenger. Like. It's $21 million for the insurance. Restoring the 05, it's probably in pretty good shape. It'd probably be a couple million, maybe three million, maybe, on the high end dollars to do totally. Because it was shopped late, but it's had asbestos and stuff and words and things, and you'd have to do a survey and do the whole thing. Um, but then, okay, so your operating cost yearly is seven times the... <laughs> the cost to restore the engine? Why do you think there's no engines running on the main? Why do you think they drag the 611 as a boxcar? Because it's easier to call it a boxcar than a fucking pipe bomb on wheels that people want to touch. So. So you're saying everybody should super chat right now and we can <laughs> see that happen. <laughs> yeah, anyone got anyone got millions of dollars they want to super chat right now and then we can make it happen? That is, I got that $3. Is a so I mean that I that's you, that's the reality, and so that is that is I mean to me that's why I really want to go see the twenty one oh two. That is the brilliance of Reading and Northern and of having a smaller railroad that loves that stuff. Um, that's what makes it so freaking cool because you get to go see a Northern, a big Northern, go just absolutely skull fuck the track and do it, you know. Um, I, I want to go see that thing so bad. Uh, I, I've heard that they're announcing their schedule for the summer soon, um, and I will try and fit it in my calendar. My calendar is a dumpster fire, though, so we'll see. Um, but, yeah, um, it's uh, it's a whole thing. Western Colorado history. K-28s could go 40 mi 5 miles an hour. Uh, of the Ks, if one of them would do 45, I would buy the 28s doing it. Um I would love to know the source on that. Cause I don't, I, cause I, I'm still a smidge skeptical. If one of them could, it would have been the 28s though. But 
hair skeptical still. If you got a source, yeah, email, DM me. Let me know. Colonel Cactus. By that logic, the Moffat line isn't a main line either. Trains only run at 25 up the mountain. There's a difference between up the mountain transcontinental versus up up a branch. And it's not a fucking branch. You said it was a branch. It's in the name. There is no Additionally, additionally just because something oh. was a main doesn't mean that it still is a main. Yeah, the Moffat's a bit of a joke, unfortunately. So, anyway. All right, you physicists. Run it on the Milwaukee. Oh. Oh yeah. Got to restore the Milwaukee first. Hey man, Mount Rainier is Anybody doing their best. Anybody got that three hundred million dollars lying around? <laughs> Mount Rainier is doing their damnedest to run on the uh, the Milwaukee. Okay, but, I'm going know. to. I I I I'm sorry. You've pissed me off thoroughly. Okay. This is a line that. E educate me. Oh, who muted? Don't fucking mute me. Ed this is a line. This is a line that gets regular passenger service, regular freight service, and by the way, it is not a branch line. It is a through line. It is the former Chesapeake and Ohio main line to Richmond. I I don't see how that qualifies as anything less than a main line. Sh show it to me on the map. I'm okay. A visual, visual person. I, do, do you want me to pull it up? I'll pull it up on stream. Pull it up on stream. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Because so, uh, because I know that my sound transit track that I own that I owned that I worked on uh, was a main line that had uh, passenger traffic and commuter traffic and freight traffic over it. That was a fucking joke of a branch line that got a crap ton of cash pummeled in it only for Amtrak to fly off the tracks okay. on. So anyway, so, oopsie. This railroad runs from Clifton Forge here. Here in we this are. Big yard. It's a big yard. Um, by the way, there's uh, somewhere over here. There's Ross Rowland's toy. Just <laughs> here. Um, railroad comes down here, crosses over the river here, swoops down through Iron Gate, um, run, comes down through Hayden, Gala, Eagle Rock, Salisbury, Tunnel. Um, Springwood, Cannon, is this the line that goes to the right spot? Oh, what? shit, I might have drawn the wrong one. Who owns it? The state of Virginia. The state of Virginia owns the right-of-way? Yes. So it's not a railroad mainline. It's a state mainline. <laughs> but you called it a mainline. <laughs> It's a state. Jersey main line. Called it a, you called it a main line. No backsies. No backsies. I got you, you son of a bitch. It, it seems. Right. It seems like it was a, a really important right away. Was. was. They don't. No one. No one's. No one is interrupting PSR with the steam train right now, Jersey. That's the point we're making. You. You yeah. are now digging into the details like I do, and I love and appreciate that about you because. Um, because yeah, because I, I see that in myself. Um, but yeah. The point um, to be made is that there really is not much purpose for a Northern to be restored right now. No. Well, that, that I'm not arguing. I'm arguing that. That 611's running on the main? Yeah. Well, it does have flashers and gates. So it's, and e-bells. So does the museum. Also. Just well, because 11 speed is restricted doesn't mean the other trains on this line's uh, uh, the other trains on this line are restricted. Amtrak is good for 60. So then, but why the, the fuck are you restoring? Why are the fuck are you restoring a northern? Restore right, a goddamn 262. Makes the point. Restore a 262. Save your money. Run at track speed and run the piss out of the thing. Run, have a great time a and save and a, a bunch a of money. Experience doing so. Yeah. You run a 262 at 40, you're going to cream your pants, save money, and have a great time. You run the 611 at 40, you're just going to be blue balled. Literally. Like, you're going to dream of running it at 110, and no one is ever going to let you do it. So, anyways, with that, um, Fizz just really wanted me to look at the 010 something or OX something real arrangements. Should know um, that the Jays people, were good people, for plus. people with their opinions. Hi, opinions. How are you? Hi. Hi. Um, I found info. It is possible that fifty-six oh one 
was experimentally fitted with a six-wheel trailing truck. I'd never heard of that before use. you mentioned it, so that's I I, that's either. neat. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. I, but you, I have never. Yeah, so same. It it is possible that it was temporarily fitted with the six-wheel truck to use on branches with lighter rail, but the experiment was unsuccessful. Photographic evidence is said to have existed in the 50s, but no photos are known to exist at present. Welcome to Preservation Everything, single tier. Yeah. Uh, I still want to know why. that I know that can find a photo, mainline, get on that. <laughs> I still want to know. Chaos, hey, SVR. Hey, Timer Man 765, got, dear God, what have I done? Uh, you, you kicked a bee's nest. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> JSJ Inc., you have binged RO a few times at work. Dude, if that uh, helps your work, love it for you. That's great. Um, and then let's see. Yama, Sama, good evening, guys. Have you seen the new BE2? Yes. Uh, watch the VOD later. Western Colorado, uh, check Discord. All right, let me see. Satiric oh. also popped in and told you to look at the pilot on this. The pi Okay, on the 084, okay. Uh, I wanna... Western Colorado, I'm not going to take train orders as a source ever for anything ever, especially not from <laughs> Earl Noob. Earl, <laughs> Earl, I'm asleep at the wheel, Noob. Uh, what's Earl, a form two? What's a form two? Yeah. Uh, mm. I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't need to, I don't need to be, be discussed here. I don't but... need to say anything more. Um, and I shouldn't say anything more. But no, that's not a credible source. Not at all. Uh, K28's 45? Yeah, maybe. K36, K37 were limited to 35. Um, uh, uh, maybe. Mm, ma maybe. I, I would not even trust that. Um, I know some people that were on a K37 doing 25, uh, and they wanted to die. And and one of their names was Brett. Um, Hi. It was missing some bits, which affected a couple things, but anyway. Yeah. We weren't even doing that fast. We were doing close to... I want to say we were only doing 15 or 20. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, I'm, look, I'm looking at the pilot. What? Oh, is, has the pilot... Oh, the pilot's been shortened, hasn't it? Um, I, need huh. to, I need to spawn a friend <laughs> to look... Okay, so you've got big deck... Big, a huge deck, and then the steps come down. Okay, so the huge, he, look at that huge deck, land. huge deck of that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's been scooted in quite a bit for the O blank whatever. Okay, that's cool. That's a fun yeah. detail. The the buffers have not. No, they've not been like li literally. It just scooted it in. That's cool. Oh wait, whatever. Okay, that's cool. We like that. That's neat. And then let's see, train the new tube on the steamy. Oh god, I guess we could do that. Yeah, if, if we want to get up to speed and watch it melt. It's not in the list of all the rest of the locomotives. It's it is. It's just not where you think it is. It's not with the rest of the passenger cars. If you've unlocked it, it Unless the update today fixed it, it's in between the auto racks, I believe. Oh, the passenger cars and the auto racks. Okay. At least that's where it was yesterday, but I saw there was a small update today with no notes on nope, it. No, oh, there it's it is. there. Yeah. Um, I unlocked, I thank you, Caboose. I unlocked it ahead of stream or on stream at the very start of stream because of you. So um, that was very, very helpful. Thank you. Glad I could help. The also, have Auntie to thank for that. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Because you guys are wonderful. So, all right. He told me where the key was. That was it. So, um. Oh. Did you take the handbrake off? Uh, in the battery? And uh, the it should have been off. The tender hasn't been turned off. Yeah. But, um. The valve gear is. It's different because the expansion link is like a micro penis, um, for lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that makes the geometry right. Um, whereas this one, our comparator, uh, it's uh, still actually pretty small. So, 
But Me yeah, too. no, no, the eccentric connects on two on the normal. Oh, I guess this is a 480, but um, let's put this as a 282. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see it. Okay, so the high speed Mikado has it on number three. The normal 282 has it on number three. Okay, so they, they change where it connects depending on. It's cool as hell. Satiric says they have not changed the valve gear on this. Oh, well, and then it's just a goofy fucking valve gear. The, uh, the 08 with, with the pilot, I mean, that's cool. The amount of little cool details that have been put in. Supremely neat. Yeah. Jay Wynn, uh, I do stream on Twitch once in a blue moon. Um, it's been a minute. Last time I did. Music stream. It was a music stream last time, so. Well, if the ACDC announcement is what we think it is. Uh, we we'll have it. to celebrate, yeah. That's after scrambling for tickets. The, try the 404, you're not joking. All right, well, let me let me melt the traction motors of this boy first. It's making sounds. It's all oh. Oh, it's melting. There it is. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it does do the thing even when. Okay, very good. Which is very accurate. All right. And then try the 404. A 404 locomotive not found. Uh, For let's those see. playing at home. K28 running at 45 miles an hour. The drive wheels are revolving five and a half times per second. What's Jesus. the R what's the RPM on that? Uh, at times 60, right? Five and a half times 60. It's about 344 RPM. That's possible. So that's within the. Realm. I mean, I mean, the the 400 is like the high end for not crazy stuff and then like 500 is the, the high end for the crazy stuff and then the stupid crazy stuff might be able to push to 600 is basically the general thought um but obviously with the narrow gauge stuff the challenge is then the weight and the cylinders but outscale the well. they outscale the everything else so yes 404 drivers not found does it move i'd be surprised if it moves Oh, I guess I didn't put a tender behind it, so and I didn't put a fire in it, so it has no steam. So, I guess naturally it wouldn't move. But I guess I will put a, I will do that. I'm waiting for the mushroom cloud off in the distance from the train you just sent off. Oh, well, you won't see it. It will explode. It will be dead over there, but we won't get to see it, unfortunately. Probably. <laughs> it's like the it's like the DE6 that I sent to death in the one episode, and was like, all right, bye. Right off into the sunset, and then uh, you check the fees later, and there's a several hundred thousand dollar fee. It's like, oh yeah, that thing binned it super hard. It's fucking dead, Jim. He's fucking dead, Jim. It's fucking noon. It's fucking noon. <laughs> Western Colorado history. I'm also not going to take a locomotive fandom wiki as a source. I love your passion. But uh, if you do not have a hard source from history, not from internet uh, parrot idiots, uh, I'm not going to listen to it. I recognize that I'm an internet parrot idiot and I'm not a good source and you shouldn't use literally me as a good source. An internet parrot I am idiot. literally an internet parrot idiot. You should not use me as a good source. You should go do your research and not Google shit. Googling shit is not research. Go sit your ass down, read a book. If you want to learn railroad stuff, go sit your ass down and read a book. That is what you must do. Um, I'm not sure so, what anyway. a reliable source for a K-28 speed record. And so the, spe the speeds on the railroads are hard because there's accounts in, in certain books uh, saying that the C-16s could reliably do 70. Which is so full of shit. That is not the case. So, yeah. Anyway, the fish was this big. Yeah. Na yeah, naturally, naturally, we just need to lay a bullet straight, perfect piece of three foot gauge track, and ask everyone to risk their locomotives and crew for uh, for speed Actually, records. How often? How often does the track from uh, Antonito to Alamosa get used? 
Put a third rail back in. There you go. Ask Solaviv. Has it maintained that well? I don't know. All right, throttle's wide open. Uh, let me turn the handbrake off. Handbrake off. Um, it's not going because it doesn't have any drivers. That makes sense. <laughs> that does make sense. This is a 404. I could have sworn I've seen that work before. I wouldn't be That's surprised if it does. It's got pressure. Try it in reverse. Put it in reverse Wait. there. This is fireball paint scheme, no drivers under it, stationary boy. Oh, it's just 1309. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's pain. Wound them, sir. That is, Good lord. That is, that is painful. Oh, I guess I didn't, no, I didn't turn the air compressor on, so the brakes might be set. I don't know why the brakes are set by default in Dero If you don't have any air, you don't have any brakes, but it's a safety thing. It's fine. It's a, that's a good check, but you know, that's, is that how it works? No. Uh, so if you want to be nerds about that, I mean, you know, also I understand. Sure I understand your, your off. I understand your decision, but is it is it truly accurate? No. So anyway. Error four oh four locomotive not found. Well, I'm looking in your comments. Uh, Satiric says, under the hood, the cylinders are zero inches in diameter. Ah. Uh, Makes right. sense. So it Stationary is. Boiler. Then. So it's a 404. 404, locomotive not found. Very fun. Dude, Satiric, the mod is great. I mean, honest to God, my favorite mod in the game. Um, the update's great. The the new locomotive in Dero Valley, the little BE2, it's cute. It's fun. Um, I, I think there will be use cases for it. I will probably use it in career. Like, there's times to need that sort of thing. Um, the DE6, the sleeper part of the update, that's what got my gears rolling. Uh, if you didn't see that, go rewatch the VOD at that point in the early it part. It sounds so much better. It sounds... It sounds like an EMD. It loads like an EMD. The the everything everything I've ever bitched about when I've run the e, like run the DE six, they went and took care of. And and I and I sincerely hope that that the all teacher guys are not just catering to me. I don't think they are. Um, I don't, it doesn't feel like they are. It feels like they're doing their thing. Um, and they're trying to do the best thing and i'm providing some feedback and then they're doing research and making it happen because what they're doing it doesn't line up exactly with what i'm expecting it doesn't line up exactly with my experience but i experience different locomotives different models all these things um either way their changes are incredible and they warm my heart um there's so many people out there that say that Heist hates all trained games, and he hates all humans, and he hates all the people. No. Just be good at you do at what you do, and be honest in what you do, and you're going to be a huge friend of mine, and I'm going to be so excited to cheerlead for you. Don't be shitty. Don't lie. Don't put out something that's kind of eh. And, uh, and I will not have to be, you know, realistic about it. So that's kind of where I'm at. Anyways, guys, such a fun stream. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be dispatcher for the AMW. It's going to be a shit show. Um, uh, so we'll be live again tomorrow. Hopefully I've had more sleep by then. Uh, but, uh, it's going to be a good, uh, good time. Good, good fun thing. So, uh, catch us live again tomorrow. Thank you so much for your love, uh, your support, and your kindness. And uh, we will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Whoa.